Might have been an echo there. <clears throat> oh man. Immediately realize I'm congested. Shit. Oh, uh, now I've sworn in the first 10 seconds of the video. Now I have to clip that out when I put it on YouTube. God damn it. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, now you're farting? Stop it. You know what? Let's restart and go again. Joe, I'm sad. Do something funny. Go ask your mom to tell you the joke I told her last night. Or showed her last night. Alright, uh... Pog master to be a master pog chant master so um exciting news i have discovered new tech ready so new tech right so if you've been here for all the streams you know that at the beginning there's a little tradition of going like this right isn't that isn't that isn't that obvious all right allow me to Blow your minds, all right? You can just click the same one. What the fuck? Right? I can't believe it. Isn't that obvious? I didn't. I didn't know that. Is anyone else genuinely shocked and surprised right now? Because I was. I was like, oh man, I can't believe it. I did that on stream one. Did I really? Then it, it must have like immediately morbed over to right now, and it, it's been gone the whole time. You can morb forward, right? You can rem you can forget. Oh my god, does that is that is that what happened? Did I just like shit post my way into realizing something about the story? Can you can you morb something away? <laughs> If you can warp something back, can you warp something forward? Uh, no, I mean, like, not not that you you um, morb from the future. I mean, like, you you morb something so you forget it, like it's gone. Oh man. Anyway, uh, I've been awake for forty five minutes. It's been a rough night. Let's get this done. That's called forgetting something. No, it's it's morbing. It's morbing. What are you talking about? It's morbing. All right, we we can we can move to the to the flow chart now. Marbles have been bought. All right, one second. God damn it! Just just work, work, work. Work, 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 work. More work. All right. Who is it? Slurl. How on earth are you buying three marbles at once, my dude? What? You you have three million monocoins? And you're not spending them on Weeb Absolution to piss off chat? How do you have three million? Alright, Slurl, are you are you nominating three different anime or are you putting two marbles in for the same anime? What are you doing? 
Three different. Wow. Oh my god. What a Chad. They already chose. Well, I haven't seen it, and I'm the most important person here, so. <laughs> Not even close, but what is it? I want to hear it straight from the Slurl's mouth. I don't want people adding me his list. I want to know. Is one of them the Bunny Senpai one? Because if not, then I'm disappointed. Where is the Slurl person? I just saw him in chat and now he's not here anymore. Not even subbed and you got 3 million coins. Wow! Because you get more coins if you're subbed, right? It's like a, a bonus? That's impressive. That's amazing! Alright. I'm still looking for slop, slop, slop. Okay. Boku Satsu Tenshi Dokuro Chan. Kill La Kill. And Dragon Ball Z. Alright. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Cool. Alright. So put those three on the list, please. And I'll mark the mark these as, um, as done. Okay. I'm not watching all of Dragon Ball Z. Alright, so mark is complete. Mark is complete. Mark is complete. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright. Okay, so let's do a quick Google search of these. Okay. Boku Hatsu Tenshi Dokuro Chan. Alright. There's an anime girl on it with a big club that doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, she has a halo. Alright, this bodes well. There's another one with a halo. Bludgeoning Angel Dokuro Chan. That's what it's called? Bludgeoning Angel Dokuro Chan tells the story of a 13 year old junior high schooler, Sakuro Kusakabi, who has a, who has a weird issue. Oh my god. Oh, I just read the next sentence. Oh, fuck. Okay, we might have our first veto. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Is that a spoiler? Did I just read a spoiler? I, I have to say it now, right? This might be a spoiler, I don't know, okay? I, oh my god. She tells the story of a 13-year-old junior high schooler, Sakura Kusakabi, alright, spoiler warning maybe, I don't know, who 20 years in the future develops a technology that causes all women to stop physically aging after they reach 12 years old in an attempt to create a lollicon's world. That's what it says on Wikipedia. Why the fuck is that even a thing? What? Keep- I'm not keep reading. No, I've had enough. Alright. I thought Steinsgate was gonna be the worst of the three on here, but no, suddenly Steinsgate's looking pretty fucking good. And now I understand why it's the Charles Dickens of fucking anime, because it's not about an angel making a lollicon war. Alright, what's Kill La Kill? Kill La Kill. Alright. Kill La Kill setting. Honoji Academy is a fictional high school situation. Oh, for fuck's sake, is there anything that's not based in high school? Science Gate isn't. Again, I'm seeing why Science Gate is so beloved, even though it's still shit. Like, is a fictional high school situated in Tokyo Bay, Japan, on the island of Hono City. The school is dominated by its fearsome student council. Oh, is it? Led, led by pr their president, Satsuki Kiruin. The students wear Goku uniforms. I don't know what that is, which gives their wearers superhuman abilities because they're constructed with a special material known as life fibers. What? It's all about them getting better school uniforms so they have better fucking powers. It's good. We mean it's good. It's pretty great. This sounds dumb. Holy sh little little did I know. Riddle me this. The whole time I have been playing the best anime games. Like, oh, holy fuck.
reading this is like there's a battle royale going on in my brain right now between all my brain cells. That's what this. <laughs> this is what this is doing to me. Okay, what the fuck? Like, what? Okay, what's I know Steins Gate. Oh god damn it. I I am sincerely tempted to veto um the the whatever the fuck the other one was. I am I, I, I feel like I would be uncomfortable watching that. The Boku Satsu Tenshi Dakura Ch like I, I am seriously tempted to veto it. Steinsgate being in the in the race is very interesting. Thank you for doing that. That that's obviously gonna win. <laughs> There's no way it's not gonna win. Like, like of course it's gonna win. Like, <laughs> so I guess we don't have to veto the other one. Oh man. Another mar oh, someone did another marble. Is it is it a second marble for Goku Satsu Tenshi Dokuro Chan? Is that what's going on? Alright, here we go. Alright, there's another marble apparently. <sighs> Gor Gordot Farah. You already had one! Alright, what is it, Gordot Farah? You already had one, so you can't be in a second marble for the same thing. So what what is it? Yes, it's me again. It's 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 me, streamer. I'm the the, the guy who's got a marble speaking to you inside your brain. What is it? All right, I see you in chat. It is Tengen, T Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan. All right, that's actually hard to say. Go imagine going up to your to your fellow weeb at the water cooler, you know, and being like, "Greeting, fellow weeb. Did you catch the latest episode of Tengen Topa Gurren Lagan last night?" And be the other guy would be like, "Of course I did." You know, and I fully understand what you just said because I too am a weeb. All right, let's let's look it up. Let's look it up. All right. All right. Yoko Littner. I have seen this character before. How have I seen this character before? Was she in one of the? Um, remember, like a couple months back, I was like. I was pasting descriptions of characters in Dragon's Den, and they people had to guess what who they were, and almost everyone was getting it right. They were very, very good. So I think maybe I saw this, saw that character in, in one of those lists, and then I made up my own, and it <laughs> just Gurren Lagan. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna guess that this isn't this isn't. I can read the first couple sentences on Wikipedia. All right. Story. Gurren Lagan takes place in a future where Earth is ruled by the Spiral King, Lord Genome, who forces mankind to live in isolated subterranean villages and constantly go to high school over and over and over again. No one is allowed to graduate, and it's just high school all the way down. Even all new work structures are now based around the high school formula and social hierarchy, and everyone still has to wear school uniforms. Interesting. Alright, interesting. So it's not technically high school, but... It's still high school adjacent, you know? Like, yeah, all right. These villages have no contact. I, I just made that whole thing up. I, uh, the, the, the Lord Genome thing is an isolated subterranean villages is real. Though. These villages have no contact with the surface world or other villages and are under constant threat of earthquakes. What? Selected villages called Diggers are conscripted to expand their homes deeper underground. Simon, a meek young digger, ostracized by his peers in Giha Village, because he's a weeb, finds solace in his best friend, an older brother figure who is an eccentric delinquent named Kamina. Okay, I'm bored. All right, whatever. All right, that that setting actually does sound a little interesting to be honest, but like I'm 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 bored reading the synopsis, which isn't fair. It's not fair. You know, it's just the synopsis. Synopsis is gonna be boring sometimes. Yeah. Um. That that sounds like it could be all right, but we haven't gotten to the anime bullshit twist yet, where it turns out that they're they're all secretly reincarnated demons. That you know, it's not isolated in underground villages. They're actually in hell, and everyone's actually died, and they're all the bad people. And if you if they ever get to the surface, they realize that there's a whole other race of people living in the clouds and big cloud cities that are, that are not isolated, and those are the angels. And you know, and and here we go. It's it's angel. It's it's heaven versus hell. Okay, are we are we videoing 
Bokusatsu Tenshi Dokura chan. All right, Slurl, Slurl, are you here? Okay, here's what I want to ask. I'm not going to make a decision right now. I'm going to think about it, maybe talk with chat, and I'll get I'll get some people I trust to confirm it for me for sure. All right, Slurl, if we veto, if, what would be the backup choice? Veto Stein. I would not, I'm not going to veto Stein's Gate. Much Moonies says, why do people want to veto Dokuro? Tell me you haven't been here for the whole stream without telling me you haven't been here for the whole stream. Like, I, go and read the, the first two sentences on, no, just the first sentence on the Wikipedia uh, introduction for it. Sorrel is just picking suggestions from Jads. All right, all right. Okay, so new mods, I'm sorry to say that your mod ship is going to be short-lived because I'm deleting the server. Really? You? Th this is a collective choice. Collect Dokuro is a classic anime, famous comedy. Comedy. I don't believe you. It's highly lauded. So, the story about about the woman making all women in the world be frozen at 12 years old is, is a celebrated, lauded story. You're not helping your case, sweeps. No, it's a man that does it. Oh, why does that matter? Why does that matter in this... Oh my god. Okay, let's just play the game. Let's just play the game. Let's just play the game. Just, just play the game. I can't. I can't. But why? Does, why does? Why? Why does that matter? Like, like if if any like if anything that makes it worse. But okay, let's go. Um, where where are we going? All right, we're done everything. We're going down here. All right. How long have we been live for? Seventeen minutes. All right. The nonary game, the nonary game, the nonary game. He said Kai Kaiji as a replacement pl placement for choice. I've already watched Squid Game. You got it. Hook it up. Done. Okay, hurry it up. All right, so Plug this is bomb num password. This is bomb number two, right? Okay, so bomb number two. All right, I have that written down already. Here we go. Let's go. It's me or your wife, Ufi. Tell me, boy, which one is more your type? All right, so it's it's bomb number two, right? Bomb number two. Okay, so. Um, I did this and I re labeled this number one because that's the first one I want to need because I remember we went we went three first and then two and then one. So this is the first one. I've already entered three so I passed it. So I need to get past number one first here. So this is this is for the first one I'm entering and this is for the second one I'm entering. All right, so EQD. DYR. DYR. NTK. Hey. Damn, this is crazy. So you did know it. How's it going, Dragons Den? How's it going? Oh, you guys are talking about anime. Oh, whatever. Boring. Yeah, I guess so. Don't scare me like that, all right? Come on, it's not like I was hiding it. I just couldn't remember it first, and then it just kind of floated up. All right, so I, I had this really bad feeling since the last stream. I've been trying to think of why are only his arms robotic, and the absolute dumbest reason I can think of it that is going to make me fucking livid if it's true, okay? Is that the only reason his only his arms are robotic. Okay, so here, here's, here's what we go. So I think that we came in here, and, like, it was... Okay, so we're, we're, we can't let Sigma know what he looks like right 
So the reason, so let, let's think through. Okay, so we can't let him know what he looks like. So he's gonna look down at some point and see his hands and his arms, and he's gonna see that they're like, they're super old. So what we have to do is we have to make it so we have to chop off his arms and replace them with like younger arms, because that's the only part of his body he's gonna see. So like, so we don't have to place the rest of him, but we have to do that. Because, it, and then Larry's like, hey, don't you think he's going to look in a mirror or someone might describe what he looks like? Or he might, you know, have to scratch his balls at some point during this. Or, like, he might take off his shirt or anything. And, 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 then, and then fucking like, no, 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 he won't. Don't worry. You know, we morbed. And he only ever looks at his arms. Don't worry. Th that's it. So, like, he, so they chopped off his arms because he's going to see those. But it just so happens that he just never catches his, his face in a reflection or anything. You know? So that's the dumbest reason I can think of for why um, uh, his arms are robotic. That, that's that's why. Who the fuck is that? Larry, Larry is the voice of reason in the anime um, plot the plot creation discussions when they're designing games and everything and stories. What about his raspy fucking old voice? Well, we can't hear his voice, which means the character can't hear it either. That That's why. He can't. Like... Your voice will sound different to you, but he we can't hear it. So the so it's it's like an ostrich sticking its head in, in the sand. Um, because the player can't hear it, then the story's like ah fuck it. The character doesn't hear it either. All right. That's literally it. I just couldn't remember it at first, and it just kind of floated up, or maybe it drifted down. Whatever. Point is, we disarmed the thing. Amazing. Sure don't sound very amazed. Okay. That just leaves us with the last bomb. It's um It's in the garden. Right. Let's go take care of it while you're on a roll with these things. All right. You sound different. Uh, you make it sound so easy. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. She spun around and was gone. I gripped the input device tightly and head off after her. And nine. It's okay. We can still make it. Just stay calm, all right? What about bomb zero? You have the input device? We don't know where that is, do we? Oh, no, wait, do we? Are you gonna morph for that? Yeah. There we go, connected. Okay, go. We've done this go. twice already. Do you really need a third pep talk? Yes, I do. You want me to remember another password, exactly. right? What else would I be talking about? But... Don't sweat it. I just remembered a, a, a line where you said you're gonna wear a swimsuit. You did great the last two times. Where's the aluminum foil? I'm sure, this one will be a cakewalk. Third time's the charm, right? That's uh, not really how that's used. I'm just. What? I'm just worried that lightning's not gonna strike twice or thrice in this no, case. No, I, I guess. mine still works. There's nothing to suggest the first and second times aren't charmed too. Uh, I guess Whatever. so. Just do it. You're the only person who can. What about you? You can jump to other worlds too, right? Yeah, but I, I can't remember things as well as you, all right? I'm doing the best I can, but either I haven't seen the stuff you have, or I just can't remember it. Maybe we've been going to different worlds. Anyway. Yeah, I'll give it a I'm shot. Counting on you. All right. Dude, dude, dude. The password. The password. The password. Remember, remember, Sigma. Come on, lightning can strike twice or even three times. Okay, do we really need this to be on every single one? You can do it. You did it before. You did it twice before. This is nothing. You're a champion. Do 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 do. Come on, Sigma. You can do this. Pull open the door to your memories. All right, so this is bomb number one, right? So it's number one here, right? So EQD, EQD, DYR. 
Oh no, I can't see what that is! Oh no! Oh shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a B! Alright, BQZ, alright. BQZ. Almost bamboozled. I couldn't tell if it was a B or an R. B Q Z R G J R G J. This is just a masterpiece, isn't it? D X R. D X R. Did I do that right? Looks like it. It was a weak bait. I legitimately couldn't see it. Yeah. Suck on that, Dio, you arrogant son of a bitch. Ah, ha, 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 ha. ah, that feels good. I haven't felt this satisfied in ages. It's like my whole brain is swimming in endorphins. I feel like it's just going to melt and dribble out my ears. That might happen. This is without a doubt what heaven feels like. Honestly, I feel like I could fly right now. Hell, I almost wish there was another bomb so I could feel this again. Isn't this great? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> What? Hey, what's going on? You're really har harsh in the vibe here. I just morbed. Would it really kill you to smile? We just saved everybody. Or every bunny. Oh, also, not that I needed it or anything, but it sure would be nice to get a thank you or something. Oh, thank you, Sigma. You're the greatest. You're so awesome. I'll dress up in that swimsuit for you just like I pro- Ah, it did come back. I mean, just a swimsuit thing would be fine, really, but... I hate anime. Are you even listening I to am. me? I am. You said you wished there was another bomb, right? Wish granted. Well, I mean, I, I don't you're really. Happy. You're going to get your wish. What? I remembered something too. Just a glimpse. We must have confronted Dio about the bombs. I'm not sure how, but we got him to tell us about them. Exactly. I've planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three. But there's also one more. Okay, we knew this too, actually, but I guess we forgot it and the more bomb number zero. Zero isn't a number, it's an absence of number. I felt a cold shiver run down my spine. Suddenly, I remembered it too. I'd heard Dio say those very words in the Floor B warehouse. No, Looks no like way. You remember it too. I do, yes. How much yeah. time do we have? That took five minutes? <laughs> Shit, we've only got four minutes. Well, hurry up! <coughs> <laughs> we don't know where it is. We need to get to the zero bomb. And I'm all out of timelines to warp to, so we're gonna luck into it, I guess. <laughs> right. I yanked the input device out of the bomb and turned to chase after. What are you just saying there for? Go, show me where the bomb what? is. Are you telling me you don't know where it is? You have got to be kidding me. Why do I have to do everything, Fi? How the hell would I know where the bomb is? Oh, oh shit, you don't know? She doesn't know. She bit her lip and nodded. Damn it. What the hell are we supposed to do now? It's in his hat. We can't deactivate the bomb if we don't know where the damn thing is. Calm down. Just calm down. You need to think, Sigma. There has to be a clue somewhere. Pretend you're Dio. You need to hide the bomb. Where would you hide something important? Okay, in another room. Like this one. It could be in any of them. Hide something important. Right. Hide. Hide. If I was Dio, where would I hide? Ah. <clears throat> up my Sigma wait where are you going don't follow me go find the Idiot. others do you really think I'd do that I could hear her following me but there was no time to argue instead I focused on my goal there was still time you know what I still can't believe how bad that anime sounds like uh, fucking hell which one jo I think I think the point just stands I don't have to say which one Yeah, should be between these AB rooms. Oh, it is there. Good, I was right. 
Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Achievement unlocked. That's kind of a weird sentence. Is that a reference to something? Good, I was right. How much time do we have left? About a minute. Hurry! Shit. Hurry, I'm hurrying as fast as I can. The input device was plugged in, I was ready to go, and now I just had to enter the password. But what was the password? I couldn't shake the feeling that I already used up my third time charm. It's time for a fourth time charm, so I had to try. I shook my head and con concentrated. Turns out, through, through all our, our attempts to get you to morb, it, that none of them worked. But letting someone in to plant bombs around your place made you morb more than anything else. So, we just we just let it happen. Lamayo, Q and S, G D Q. Oh yeah, G D Q. Stop. Yeah. Oh, someone's upset upstairs. Fi and I crumpled to the ground. The adrenaline that had sustained us suddenly gone. How did you know it was here? I didn't. Did you see it in another history? No. It's hard to explain. The short version is that Dio hid something here in another timeline. I guess maybe he put the bomb here too. Pretty good guess. Yeah. Is the, uh... Seriously, they're very upset. Um, was the, uh, old lady body found on this timeline? It, it was found on two of them, right? Was it these two? But on this one, it wasn't? These two, she was found. This one, yeah, because I remember we did this one first, and then we jumped over here, and I was like, whoa, it's different. And then this one, it was the same. So this one, there was no old lady. Okay, so I don't understand that at all. L like, I don't I don't understand that. How does he have a bracelet? Like, w is the body somewhere else? Like, how has no one found it? I don't I, I hope they explain that well, because I'm really interested. <clears throat> well, you did it. So... Thanks. Oh, I don't need any thanks. Just, Just uh... What? About that swimsuit you promised. Really? What? What on earth are you talking about? We're not on earth. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. This is bad. This is bad. The white doors have opened. We need to hurry. Everyone else is waiting for us in the Floor B warehouse. Um, what about the swimsuit? What the hell are you going on about? I agree with Fi. Just go! Before I could protest, she turned and ran toward the magenta door. I sighed and headed off after her. Do we have to do an escape room now? Because, you know, do we have to? How much did we get through the flow chart? Oh, we only have three left. Oh man, what a short stream. They'd done as Fi asked and brought the three unconscious party members of our party back to the doors. Fi and I shared a quick glance and headed over toward them. Alright, we're gonna kill Dio, right? Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. So, did you disable the bombs? Yeah, I could have could have done it in my sleep. Don't in my you sheet. In your sleep? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so. Is, was that a joke or is Sigma making fun of Fi or is like the constant morbing making them have communication breakdowns because Fi was having that weirdness too where she, she said a couple times she said a line that's kind of off and Sigma's been like wait how the hell would you mix that up right like what's going on with that is, is are those just is that just flavor or like what's going on is that a plot point yeah. good job you guys <laughs> No need to thank me. Although, I mean, if you insist, I uh, wouldn't mind a little swimsuit time. What? She's already practically wearing a swimsuit. Huh? You're disgusting. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. We need to hurry. Everybody know who's in their group? Yeah, I'm All set. Right. Then let's move. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. At Temioji's command, we broke off into our teams. 
who are we with again? K carried Quark on his back and dragged Dio along the floor and through the white door on the- Oh, convenient that, that, that K can do that. Clover and Luna carried Alice through the door on, on the right. Aw, oh, poor Clover and Luna. And Tamiyoji, Fai, and myself ran through the center door. Interesting, we're with Tamiyoji. seconds remain until chromatic doors close. The three Morbers are together. Five, the three biggest eight, Morbheads in here. We're going to talk about the seven, movie a lot. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. The worst room is coming up soon. I, I'm pretty sure that has been said before every room in here. That's the secret, Joe. Every room has been noticed. I think that the rooms in this game have actually been pretty good overall. Oh, there's nothing in here. All right, that's going to be easy. Much better than the first game. What the hell? There's nothing here. Well, there are doors. The one we came in. And that one, which I'm assuming is the exit. I'm not crying. Why are you spamming Q? Yep, figures. Won't budge. The plaque on the door just said Q. Q. Now they're doing it too. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's the quantum room. Really? Now someone's just being a smart ass. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? <sighs> Nothing. Maybe the Q is for question. No, it's not. Hmm. Well, I guess it's a very questionable if room. There's a deck of cards here. Maybe the Q would be for queen. But you're here, so it still could be. Ah, oh, swimsuit now? That's a quality guess right there. Right. Well, we need to get out of here. Let's find a way to get the door open. We also need to find the star keys. I've got enough VP to open the door. But you guys need to play the AB game some more. Yeah. We still need a few more points. If we can get those star keys, we should be able to play the AB game as many times as we need to. So... It's just a matter of time until we get the points we need. Oh, oh, on this timeline, we're, we're acknowledging it. Cool. All right. 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 Yeah. Well, let's get started Good. then. Okay. Let's get cracking. All right. There's like... Is it just empty or... Okay. What are we supposed to do here? The room's empty. Wait. Do you hear something? Oh, neat. Look at that. Huh. Well, how much you want to bet it has something to do with that? Guess we should uh, have a look. Is it just one big block puzzle? Because if so, I'm going to be upset. Going to be upset. All right, I can, um, I can uh, get rid of all the codes now, right? But then I would have to get rid of Bikoi. Ooh, I don't think I want to do that. Zoom. What? Can I do that on all of them? Oh. Oh, that's weird. What if I color in the mall? That's got to be it, right? Just color in the mall. Okay, is it changing on here to match it? Okay, it's definitely coloring in the mall. I can't color in that one! Okay, so I can't, I can't color in the mall. It's not possible. All right, so that's not the answer then. All right. Maybe you have to like make uh, like a checkerboard.
No, you can't. You can't do it over here either. All right, never mind. All right, let's just look at the, the cube. I think this cube is just floating here. How the hell is it doing that? Who knows? Can't tell just by looking at it. Why don't you touch it and see if anything happens? It's a minesweeper? can't get that one god damn it all right i don't understand this at all that's two down here okay it seems to be only the bottom corners that's it okay so the bottom corners have something in them and that's it so is that what i have to do in on the wall that corresponds to this so two, two, one. Okay, I don't know if this is relevant or not, but let's just do it. Two, two, one. <laughs> one, one. One, one. All right, so I don't have to make notes because I can't see the bottom of it. So that doesn't seem right to me unless they're just evil. what's going on here having a look at it huh the cube look at it again all right i'm looking at it there are winning and losing panels on the wall the cube can help you find the winning panels the winning panels and the and the only winning panel and only the winning panels are highlighted in the science in science the system will activate here's how you find the winning panels when you click a panel on the cube it will display a number each surrounding panel will also display a number this panel indicates the number of winning panels that border each panel for example losing winning all right so What? Okay, so it counts itself. All right, so the one one here counts this here as winning. So that borders the winning, that borders winning, and here that borders winning down here. And because there's it's a two here, that's because it borders itself and that one down here. And the three is that one, that one, and that one. And the two here is is that one is is this these two and that one's that one. Okay, so that that makes sense to me. Okay, um. But like, does this one correspond with the one, the wall I'm facing or does it correspond with the wall that it's facing? So I should probably look at the one that's facing the door and uh, it's going to be the same fucking cube, isn't it? I don't, is it like face to face or uh, whatever? Let's, let's just see how it goes. It just, that's going to be kind of, kind of kind of bullshit the hint that appears on the cube is different for each side hypothetically if the wall with the exit is the north wall then the wall to the right of that would be the east wall which would make the wall with the entrance to the south the south wall and the wall to the left with that would be the west wall that would mean that a hint that appears on the west side would actually refer to the east wall a hint that appears on the north side would actually refer to the south wall and a hint that appears on the west side would refer to the west wall okay that is a very confusing way of of saying that uh, that it is when you're looking at the cube right it is the wall that you can see in front on the other side right that's what it means right or does it mean the opposite? Hold on, let's go through it. A hint that appears on the west side would actually refer to the east wall. So it's on the west side of the cube. If it's on, so so th this is this is the this is the, the the room right, and this is north east, right, and this is the cube right, and it's saying whatever's on the west thing would be on the east wall right so wherever i'm if i'm looking at the if the clues on here just go straight to the wall that i can see right okay so so holy shit that paragraph fucking sucks okay 
Adjacent walls don't provide hints for one another. Each hint is specific to that wall. Okay, so that means that the border here doesn't count for the one over there. Okay, that's good. That means that even if there is there are winning panels on the border with an adjacent wall, those panels will not be reflected in the initial panel's numbers. Note three, there are a total of eight puzzles hidden in the walls. What? Uh, oh, what do you mean? Does that, does it mean because there's like one here and one here? That's two, there's two of those per wall? I don't, uh, okay, let's see. What's, where's the golden file? In, where's the safe? Oh, the safe is in here, isn't it? I click the floor, click the floor to view the message one more time. After that, it will be gone forever. <laughs> All right. Fuck you. All right. Cool. Oh man. All right. So that has to be um, these two, right? These two are it. So these these two down here are are the the the, the cyan, and um, like, and these three down here, right? This one, this one, and this one. It's got to be these three. Yeah, and 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 these and these. So this is the cyan. This is the cyan. This is the cyan. This is the cyan. This is the cyan down here, right? And there's there's nothing else. Okay. All right, and this is the wall. This is the one we're just looking at, right? Winning and losing panels. No, I don't want to read it. I want to look at the cube again. I don't need to see it again. I'm good. I'm good. All right, so this one over here. Whoa. Oh, fuck. All right. Whoa, what the hell? Hmm, interesting. So that's how this one works. So every single time that I put in a pattern, it's gonna make the wall come out and then we do a puzzle. Okay, interesting. That's, this, that's pretty cool. That's how that one works. So it looks like there's more of them. We should keep looking. All right. What, what? Why'd it go back in? Hmm, that is odd. Maybe you're doing it in the wrong order. There might be another device you need to activate the first one for so it will stay out. Maybe we need to pull part of this wall out and it'll, and it'll catch it when it comes out. All right, this is, this is fucking cool so far. All right, are these missile? Those missiles? They're darts. Look over here. I think it's a green memory card. We can get. We can't get it out though. The glass is covering it. All right. I think we need to get some. We can get some darts out though. Okay, I'll grab a couple and stab you. Okay, we have three darts. These look like real darts instead of the foam stupid ones we had last time. Bunch of tiny sidewinders, huh? You know, the ones they mount on the underside of fighter planes. These aren't missiles. They're darts. Okay, is there anything else we can see here? Display case. What am I supposed to do with them? How about you throw them as hard as you can? That glass is covering the memory card. That's a good idea. Waste of time. That's reinforced glass. Unless we, how do you know? Darts aren't going to break. How do you know? If there are darts. Because you salvaging? Like, come on. Aluminum foil got the bracelet out. If there are darts, and that means there's probably a dart board around here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. All right. What's about, what about this one over here? All right, that's it. Can we, can we put it back in? No, we can't. What if we hit the button over here? No. All right. So what? Once it's out, it's out. All right. So will the dartboard come out now? Shit. I'm gonna guess no, but just in case. All right. Okay. So they're they're just all gonna be on the sides, right? Maybe we, maybe we make stairs. There we go, we did it. All right, let's look at it. Ah! All right, almost. There we go.
All right, we'll look at it. Oh. Interesting. Really? There's only one on that wall? I thought there were eight, so, so another wall has three? Oh, well that's surprising. It's got some kind of weird patterns on it. Nothing happens to touch them though. Maybe something's missing. Like what? Huh. Well, this has to go. Oh, this comes out now. Aha! Wrong one. This comes out now. God damn it. I want to see the thing. There we go. Hey! Alright. This room's really cool. Okay, so there's a file. Can we. Can we take these? Oh, we can. There's a binder in the. Oh, there's glass. Never mind. Change the colors to the correct ones by ch clicking the hexagons and triangles. Remember that you only have five moves to complete this puzzle. Huh. I feel like I've done this puzzle somewhere before. Ah, well. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, no. 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 All right, so that's all be red. All be red. Okay. All be red. Okay. How do I make them all red? It's not going well. It's not going well. Not going well at all. Hey. All right. Did I, did I solve it? Yeah, that must be the answer. Look. The glass doors, they're open. Well done. That was some good work, Sigma. Alright, here we go. It's a binder. Let's have a look. There's only a single piece of paper in here. It says Q Chamber Special AB Game. Okay. A red memory card. It goes with the green one. All right, let's read this uh, file. <sighs> Hints for the AB game Q edition. Three people will definitely choose ally. Three people will definitely choose betray. One is a mysterious mirror man. He will always do whatever his opponent does. First answer, strive for nine with six cooperators. Second answer, we must be the only ones to surpass nine. All right, so is this for the golden file and this is for the regular file maybe? So we have to like do a simulated AB game with conditions here. Okay, um, that's interesting. Cool, all right, I like it. So some some weird shape like that. Is it symmetrical? No. All right, I think that looks about right. This side is a little fuzzy on me. All right. Three. There's only one over here. Okay, so let's get rid of this. So this has to be teal because it's a four. That has to be, that has to be, that has to be. That's locked in. Same up here. This is a four. So that has to be, a f that, ah, oh, goddammit. That has to be one, that has to be one, that has to be one. That's consistent so far. Um, I don't think, there's not one up here. There could be one over here. Three. Three. 
Maybe there's a gap here, actually. This one isn't one. Okay. One, two, three. So one of these two is a four, but not both of them. It looks like, I'm gonna guess it's this one down here. And then this one over here, so there's, there's a gap. Here? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has to be. Wait, what? Just let out of the wall. You flew around the room by exiting. Okay, that that was weird. But uh, I don't understand. I'm supposed to get all six of them, but only two of them come out. Is that it? So it doesn't always match. It doesn't always match the um, the shape, I guess. All right. All right, it's kind of weird. All right, so that's a four. So that one has to be one. That has to be one. That has to be one. That has to be one. And because these two are it, there's a three here. Um, so one, hmm, one, two, three, four. Four. So these two have to be at two because well, I guess that could be no because then that would be that would be a two So these two and these two all right Three of those three Okay, that looks to be about it. So it's that that those three down there Hey Joe would not be good at Minesweeper. What do you mean? I feel like I'm doing quite well here What the fuck and also I think that I'm pretty good at Minesweeper actually a table. You can look around more by exiting zoom mode and returning the normal normal view. I actually think that because I played Minesweeper, that's what's tripping me up a little bit because I keep forgetting that the number itself, the number on the square, includes itself. A table. You can look around more by, or it could ex include itself if if it's um if it's a, a lit up square. You can look around more by exiting the room. Okay, so that's a uh, that's the dice puzzle. All right. Um, did we do this side yet? I don't think we did. All right, let's go look at these puzzles and break it up a little bit. So more dice. Roll six dice to move them where they need to go. The direction of each side is supposed to be match specific pattern. Choosing which side you like to move by clicking on it, you can roll vertically. Or okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, so why is that one lit up? Okay, is it the same thing as last time or? Oh, it's lit up because it was highlighted. All right, um, I don't know where they go. So this is a waste of time, huh? I can't figure it out. I'm guessing this is gonna tell me where they go. No, nope, it's not, okay. All right, is there anything on the top? No, it doesn't look like it. He's still on the dice puzzle. <laughs> All right, so um, these two here, it looks like. One, two, three. Like a, like a little L. Oh, it's another one of those projectors. Okay, so one, two, three up on the right, that's it, right here. Ah, oh no, oh no, oh no, 
Not again. All right. Not again. All right. Um, what did Sammy puzzles there were? There were. It said there were eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I missed one. Oh. Okay. Can I look at the ceiling or the floor? The hell, what the heck is this? Rick is a huge thing. There's a screen down there. It looks like it's the only part you can actually interact with, but it's dark and something on it. There's some cards that slot underneath the screen. Look like just the ones in polling machines in the AB room, so that means we need to put some memory cards in here, right? Well, oh, I hope there's not another fucking shape one. Yeah, like the one you got in your hand right now. All right, the red card, huh? Let's see if someone has this slot in the red slot. All right, here we go. All right, is it gonna give me the dice shit? Let's see what happens up with the scent. Nope, nothing. You still got two of these slots. I reckon you need to. Okay, I thought maybe it might give me a, a piece of it as we as we go on, but it didn't. Okay, um, I mean, there's got to be another one somewhere, like maybe one in a corner somewhere that you have that it's really easy to miss. Maybe. All right, let's go look at this thing. I think I've seen one of these before. Oh, you mean one of those exercise machines where you twist your hips around? No, I don't think so. This doesn't look like a fitness machine to me. Kind of ruins it when you take it so seriously. This is is uh. Damn it, I can't remember. Alright, so this is where we do the AB game, I'm guessing. A screen, huh? There's nothing on it. Doesn't do anything when you touch it. I turn it on. Hell if I know. No button or slot. Lock can't turn it on. Mm -hmm. Might as well leave it alone for now. Alright, so I guess we do the, the darts. Let's do the darts. That's a dartboard. I remember seeing this before. Come on, who hasn't seen a dartboard before? No, that's not what I mean. I feel like I've seen it somewhere in this building before. I just, it's just this board is different from a normal dartboard, you know? Hmm. Let's try it out. What do you mean try it out? Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? There's only two ways to use a dartboard. Either use it to hold the pizza or you throw darts at it. You got some darts, don't you, Sigma? Maybe you could try throwing them. Uh, what? Get a score of 100 with three darts. However, the first dart must land in the green area, the second must in the blue area, and the third in the red area. Throw a dart at a particular area, drag, and then release it. Okay, so, huh? That's so weird. I could have sworn I've seen these darts before somewhere. Why are they real darts this time? Whatever, time for some darts. All right, so it says get a score of 100 with green, blue, green, blue, red. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, green, blue, uh, red. No, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Okay, green, blue, red. No, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Just all on 11. Green, blue, red. Pretty close. Pretty close. All right, let's actually try and figure it out. Um, so that's 33, that's 22, that's 11. That's, it, it's, it's the number, this is 16, right? Yeah, it's 16, all right. 8, 16, 24. It looks like we need to get the highest ones possible, actually. So what's the highest green? Let's just try for that. The highest green is, is 11. The highest blue is... 28 and the highest red oh no it's not I can go in the middle my bad sorry 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 my bad my bad my bad my bad um this is the highest green by far right yeah my bad for some reason I thought the green had to be on the outside Just brain farted, that's all. Okay, I feel like this should be solvable from here. We need 58. If we take 33 on the red. No, I don't think so. Okay. 
Why are there three eights? And they're all blue as well. All right, now we need 34. How do we get 34? I don't think, can we get 34? With a red, no. Hey, close. I choose Rapture. Okay, so the shitter way of doing this would be to actually just write down what they are and then just do some simple math with them all up. But I just kind of want to feel it out instead. Let's go nine. No, there's no way. That's with triples as well. There's no way. Let's go 13 instead. All right, 39. And now we want a little higher of a number than we went with last time, which I can't remember what it was now. Um, that's still higher than that one, right? Yeah. So now we need um, 33, which is which is this one, right? We're done. Hey, there we go. Pretty good. Ha, piece of kake. You see that? My dart skills are undeniable. Yes, I saw it quite clearly. It was very nice. Do you really think you have to stand the whole two meters and 37 centimeters away from the dartboard, though? I'm a fair man. My high school would be most likely to be a judge, you know? Okay, okay. That's great and all, but look. See the display case? It's open. Great. Now we can get that green memory card. Hmm, we're gonna have to pull it out the stops on this job. Sound like you're in a heist movie. Should I have worn a cat suit? Yeah, I think I just threw up a little. Whoa, besides everyone in the heist movie wears a sweet suit. Okay, so let's put that one in and see. Green card, huh? So still nothing. Okay, so I'm confused. I don't have, um, I don't have a guide to tell me what to do. So either I need to just repeat what it was last time. In that case, I've forgotten it. I really don't think it would make you do that. Or there's like, something I've missed up here that will tell you what to do. So is there like one I missed? Because there is one missing. We got that one already on the left, right? And this is the one we already have open. Is there like one around here somewhere? It doesn't look like it. Let's try it. Let's go, let's go again. All right. So four is one, two, three, four. That's a three. One, two, and probably itself. Okay. I think that's the one we already have, right? Let's back up. That's that one over here, right? And was this the weird one where it was like, there had to be two up here too or something? Ah, okay. All right, that's weird. So they're two right next to each other just to trip you up. Okay. Looks like a bookshelf. Hmm. Looks like four purple blocks. Let's go through each one of them. What the? There's nothing written here. Huh? I mean, all the pages are blank. Are the other books the same? Let's have a look. Yeah, there's nothing here. This one's blank too. Believe it or not, this one also blank. Something wrong? Is there something in that one? No, the pages are all blank. It's just, just what? Well, there are some pictures in, put in between the pages back here. Three of them, it looks like. You have found a picture of a blue die, a picture of a green die, and a picture of a red die. You can view them by visiting the archive. Okay.
All right, I'm guessing that's the one away. Cl oh God. Oh. All right. Does the position of, of the two and the three matter? Okay, so it has to be taken from this angle, right? Because otherwise they took it in the wall. So it has to be facing here. So the blue one goes here. One, two, three, four, five. Five from the left, one up. And it has to be a one. Does the two and the three facing matter? Because if it does, I'm gonna be very upset. All right. So that one go one, two, three, four, five. It's here. That's where it goes. But it's gonna look different when we get in there, okay? Alright, here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five here. So blue one. One, two, three, four, five, up one. Okay, blue one. I'm guessing that's it. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Let's do double check again. One, two, three, four, five, up one. Okay, and then from that one, up two, and then left one. So one, two, left one, five. One, two, left one, one, two, left one, five. All right, blue five. All right, this is actually kind of cool. All right, assuming I'm doing it right. If I'm not doing it right, then I'm going to be fucking pissed. All right, here we go. All right, so next one. All right, so from, from right next to the five, blue five is... A green six. Green six. All right. And then one, two, left one, green two. One, two, left one, green two. All right, there we go. Okay. Then immediately up from the first blue one, or down from the between the green and the and the blue, is a red three. Red three. Alright, this is making a shape, so that seems about right. Okay. Alright, and down from the two, the green two is a red four. Let's double check, put my finger there. Shit. <laughs> Alright. Green two, and then directly below it is a red four. All right, red four. Red four. Okay, so that's the positions. Now, if I'm wrong, and it actually is, like, from a, from a different, um, what you would call it, uh, different perspective, this just needs to shift around, right? It's always gonna start on the edge. So there's only four possible combinations, right? No, because it could be from the difference. No, it could it be? I'm, I'm gonna guess it like it has to be either Here's the one or one two three four five. Here's the one or one two three four five Here's the one or one two three four five. Here's the one right. It, ha it has to be like that, right? Okay, so Fucking hell Okay, do the sides matter? <laughs> Do the sides matter? <laughs> Let's just go and see that it doesn't. Let's just assume that they don't and just go through it. Alright, so what blue one Okay, there was a, a trick to this, I remember. I don't remember. I'm lying. I'm I'm a I'm a dirty, dirty liar. I don't remember at all. Not even a little bit do I remember. Okay, that's it, right? We can get the blue one there now? Yeah, we can. Alright, blue one. Alright, blue one. And that is the wrong side, right? Because it was a two and something else? So, it's a two and a three. That is the wrong side. Alright, so we're just going to assume that it doesn't, the sides don't matter. If they do, then... Then... Uh, fuck off. But we'll see. Alright, so it's a blue one. Alright, that's in the right spot. Alright, red three. Red three. Where's the three? There's the three. Why 
Why can't I, in, in my head, I can understand how this works. And then when it comes to moving it, I can't do it. All right, so red three. You know what? The fact that they're giving them to you individually and you can actually see the sides instead of all together makes me think the sides do matter. Oh God. All right, uh, green six. Okay, green six. Blue five. Okay, getting a little bit of a hang of it now. Alright, red, red four. No, I lost it. I lost. No, up, up. Red four. Alright, here we go. Moment of tooth. Blue... Green two. All right, do the colors matter? No, all right. Green two. <sighs> all right, so. One one three three six six five five four four two two. Okay, so either, either it's the wrong starting point, right, or the sides matter. I actually don't like this puzzle now because I don't understand because because it's like a little, it's like two layers of amb ambiguity. Like, what is the perspective here? And also, do the sides matter? I'm gonna guess that this 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 has to be. I have to have the angle right, right? I have to. Like, there's no way. Is there a way to figure out from the picture I have the angle right? It's got to be sides matter, right? It's got to be. Do I have the angle right? So the angle here is like that looks like the the, the part of the of the metal over there, like it's got to be sides matter. All right, sides matter. All right, just like a Thanksgiving dinner, sides matter. So 2 and 3, 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Oh my God, uh, so that's it. So now I just have to move it over. <laughs> no, <laughs> why? <laughs> no. I don't even know if the sides do matter though. This is just a guess. I'm so mad. Oh my God, I'm so mad. That's still not it. Okay, if I do this enough, will it eventually be right? No, it's looping. All right, what if I go the other way? No, it's just gonna reverse it. Okay, I did it. I can't I can't even begin to understand how I'm supposed to do this. Moving three sides at the same time. Let's just go fucking into loop de doop land. Alright, there we go, we did it. Alright, so right now it's set on the on the bottom, so I need to somehow go around and make it so it gets here. How do I do that? No, that's not it. Two and three, right? Two and three. Arrgh! 
can get it into this arrangement in every single square apart from the one. Okay, so, so does that mean I need to like go use the one above? Is that why? Okay, get, get, fuck off, fuck off. I, want, I, I need to clear the room, which doesn't bode well for, for when we fucking, like, have to do the other ones. But let's just clear the fucking space. <laughs> it's just no way the sides matter. There's no way. It's just I just have the different the, the wrong arrangement, right? It might actually be faster to just check every other fucking thing rather than than just do sides matter right now. You know that? It might actually be faster. Thank you for the emotional support, dog. Thank you. Okay, so I need to get two, two, three, six here, right? Two and three. I need to get two, 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 three, two, six, three here on this square. All right, that's what I need to do. So how do I get like that? That that's like a tall order in itself. Two, three, six. Yay, we did it! But it's just down. Fucking hell! All right. Joe's stubbornness is gonna kill. I don't know what to do, so I'm just going through it. I, I have no idea how to rotate these in order to, to get it there. Like I'm sorry, I just this is beyond me to to think of how all six move at the same time, right? Two, three, four, five. I should be checking periodically to make sure it's on the same one. There you go. It's there. It's there. All right. So we just need to just keep going like that, right? Yay! We did it. God damn it. It's there. Alright, let's just channel some Nagito luck. I'm gonna move that one to that square right away, and when it gets there, it's gonna be what I need it to be, okay? I haven't done any calculations, I'm just gonna Nagito luck channel it. Here we go, ready? So, over here to five, here we go. One, two, three, four. God damn it. The, Nag the Nagito luck let, let me down. What if we go the other way? Yay, now we have two of them! Now we have two of them. It's getting out of hand.
Damn it! Oh, God damn it! Damn it, man! Damn it! <laughs> we have to do five more after this! And I don't even know if that's right! I don't even know if that's right! <laughs> that's the worst part of it that was the worst part of the the shape puzzle too is like it's demoralizing it makes you not want to hard commit to something because it's like you don't even know if it's right it's like okay i hope this is right at the end uh... Other blue dot. Why would that matter? The, the, they're the same, aren't they? Why would what what difference would that make? Are they not the same? Jo why am I being Joed? So, because of the way that they, they began it in the orientation, and the way that they can only move in certain ways, um, only certain die can be in certain arrangements, I'm guessing. So it has to be the other one. Okay, so through an immense amount of trial and error, you're just supposed to figure that out, or you can just be like Sherlock Holmes' brain, and you can figure out that, um, that, uh, like, that they can only be in a certain way. Okay, um, that's a bit shit, but alright. Okay, so it needs to be a five, five, four, one. Five. It's not Sherlock Holmes' brain. It's not Sherlock Holmes' brain to look at all the dice in their original arrangement and just know which blue can be a one, two, three like that and which one can't. Really? I, I think that's like, that's pretty fucking high tier, like, um, uh, positional awareness in your head. Like, 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 holy shit. Like, visualization. Like, that's... That's really hard, I think. Just to know, like, which squares can only have which arrangements of die? Like, I, I think that is Sherlock Holmes' brain. Like, what? Like... I'm not even saying it's a bad puzzle right now. I'm just saying that it's, like, that, like the argument that that's an easy thing to do. Like, no fucking way. How do you ban someone for real? Is it just like that? Yay, I did it. All right, he's banned. That was his last chance. All right. Blue five. Five, four, one. 
You can thank Merrick for that, for doing an audit on your chat and posting in Dragon's Den. 541. Thank you, Merrick. My second ban ever. Alright, 541. 541. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now that you know which way they go, maybe it's a lot easier. Alright. Okay, red three. Um, let's do them in order. Oh, well, I don't know which one goes which now. I guess I just try for a little while and see if I can get it there. Okay, so... Three, two, six. And I probably also want to move this one down so I can actually see it, right? Three, two, six. All right, so I'm gonna guess no, right? No, because it's because it went here. It can't go here. Is my reasoning right here? I'm gonna guess that's it. Let's 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 see. Three, two, six. Yep. And then, after all of this, the sides don't matter. <sighs> oh, maybe not. Oh no, there it is. Okay, so, three, two, six. Three, two, six. Three, two, six. All right, and I put this one back. All right. All right, and now the next one in the middle is 624. So I guess diagonal is fine, but directly um, adjacent, or like, is it uh, orthogonal or whatever? Like, what's what's that word? Um, they, th that can't be right. Okay, so again, uh, 624, 624. That's not it. Oh, that's six three two. Six three two. Oh, and it's not even facing the right way. It has to be facing that way. All right. Six two four. All right, so that's there. So that's probably can't be it, right? Six two four. Six two four. All right, and now the red one. Thank you for the copy link. Thank you. Do you want to do this one too? Is saying crying about during math transition still legal? I need to. Oh yeah, of course. No, that guy wasn't banned for for just that post. He was banned for just being a shitter over multiple streams and multiple and multiple comments. Just being just a, a salty prick. That's why he wasn't banned for that comment specifically. You have to try really hard to get banned around here. Two, three, one. But we want the red... I'm confused now. Shit. The red four... It's up here, right? Above the five? Four, two, one. Right here. Four, two, one. Is that it right there? Four, two, one? Four, two, one. Okay. And then green above it. Two, three, one. Um, that that wasn't it. Was it? 
Okay. Ha, <laughs> got it. Oh, what's it? I did. I just said it wrong. Three, two, one instead of two, three, one. All right, cool. All right. Um. So that's not too bad. After you figure out that you can only use one of the dice for each position. Um. I don't know if that's common knowledge or not. If that's common knowledge and I just don't know it, then okay, fine. Um. But once you realize that and having the thing here, like, yeah, like I enjoyed getting them to the position now that when I knew it was possible, but. Mm, I don't know if I like that puzzle a lot. I had a feeling you could do it. Good job. Have a look at this. Hey, it opens. A blue memory card. But overall, so far, this is the coolest room. I wonder what the AB game is going to be like. This blue card, huh? Let's see if anything happens when we put it in the blue slot. Would you look at that? Looks like you turned it on. Us, A, and B are all pairs consisting of two people. C, D, and E are solos consisting of a single person. First, move the pairs A and B to the blank areas on the left under pair. Next, move solo C, D, and E to the blank areas on the left over solo. You can move them by sliding the letter icons. A pair and a solo aligned vertically with verses between them will face off against one another in the AB game. You can still move icons even after you've placed them. Once an opponent has been selected, the game will begin. Choose to vote Choose to vote for the us pair, either ally or betray. The results of your of your match will be displayed, along with the results from the other teams. If the correct number of people reach the target BP before after playing three rounds, the game will be completed. Okay, so does it change every time, the rules? Like, can I just figure out who's the mirror right now and then just know that forever? Or, or what? So I want to figure out who the mirror is. All right, C, D, and E. And we're gonna vote ally. And C voted ally. Okay, so E always votes betray. Uh, let's do it up here. E, betray. And C or D is either a mirror or always... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I actually need to review it because maybe I'm thinking of this all wrong. Let's go back. Three people will definitely choose betray, to betray. Three people will definitely choose ally. Okay, so that in this context, a person is also a pair. Right? So that means whatever they voted right now is what they're going to do forever, right? So um, I put it here. So B is also ally all the time because they didn't mirror out each other. So E is always betray. Let me do like an A. A, B, C, D. I could have had more space here. Okay, so C always votes ally. These two voted the same, but that could just be that so d could be the ally and b is the mirror but i don't think i think a solo is going to be the mirror so right now i think b is ally wait isn't it yeah. wait that doesn't make sense sorry hold on this is more than more than six people, and it's not including us too. Okay, I'm a little confused. One is a mysterious mirror man. Okay, so that is a solo. So a solo has to be. So um, so they're counting, and two people. Oh, and two people are us. Okay, 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 okay. okay all right. So, um, so I'm guessing the people who are. There's one pair that always choose ally, there's one pair that always chooses betray, and there's one mysterious mirror man, one person, one solo that always chooses betray, and one solo that always chooses ally, and 
the two of us, right? So so that's it. So there's one pair. So that means B B always chooses ally. So now it's I fucked this up. I fucked this up. My bad. Sorry, I fucked this up. I, I I messed up my order. So it was it was like C D E A B. So A always votes ally. Or did they vote betray? I want to see it again. Because I fucked it up. All right. So. A always votes Betray, B always votes Ally. There we go. I knew I fucked it up. Alright, so A always votes Betray. B always votes Ally. C by definition has to be the mirror. D always votes ally. And E always votes betray. Okay, so my my reasoning here is that there are nine people and seven are listed because two of two of us are gone, so seven people, right? So three people always choose ally, three people always choose betray. Well, that's an odd amount of people and you can't split them up. So that means there has to be a pair that always votes betray and a pair that always votes ally. And that means there's three singles left. So now we have four people accounted for, right? No, six people accounted for and because of because of us. And now there's and now there's three left, right? So if the mirror, there's no mirror here, so the mirror has to be C, which means that has to be ally and that has to be betray. So th that's it. So now we have to figure out how to get everyone to nine points with this information. Um, and we can't make everyone ally together. We can't make everyone ally together. So... How do we how do we do that? In fact, A is always going to betray. So the the amount of points they're going to get, unless can we can we get them to um, how many points do we start with? Is it the same? If we just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, so C is going to betray now. Yeah. Okay. So C C is definitely the um, the person who 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 does it. Okay. So A gets a, a lot of points right away. Okay, so this should be ally, betray, ally, ally, betray, betray, ally, ally. Yeah. It's only three games. Okay, so A has to betray twice in a row in order to um, in order to to get here right now, right? So A has to be betray, has to have someone who allies against them, which has to be um, uh, D. Okay, that's actually kind of tricky. Check the win. The win condition is that everyone has to have nine, and um, and the other one is like, we're only. I, I remember this. Yeah, I was going for this one first. Everyone has to have nine. That's what I was going for.
What do you mean? There, there are six teams. Six cooperators. One, two, three, four, five, six. We all have to... That's nine with all of us. Right? That's nine people. But it's six pairs. They're cooperating. They're cooperating. They're co Is that not it? A pair is two copper. Okay, well, that is very vague. I don't I don't think that's very clear. Okay, well, if that's the case then, um that's easy. Hold on, can I reset? Wait, I don't even need to reset. I can just do it right now, can I? I just need to do the same thing 3 times, don't I? So us, us and someone gets, um, gets ally. So B gets the mirror guy. D gets the betray. Sorry, B. So that's ally. That's ally, right? And they just betray each other. Fuck it. Or does someone, if someone dies, is the game over? Alright, so let's put A and E again together. And then this doesn't matter the order, right? Because because it, it's going to be mirror, mirror our ally, um, B and D ally, A and E is going to betray. Yeah, alright, so this is it. We're done, right? Oh, wow, okay. that That's so easy. The hardest part of that is fucking... Reading the um the thing, Re making understanding that it means uh six people instead of um six teams. Way to go, good work. Hey, look, the screen changed color. So this would be, this could be. Should this be? All right, star, star, moon. We did it. Screen, it's blank. I don't see any buttons or anything, so I might as well leave it alone for now. What? Oh, right here. Right, right. <laughs> I give it a shot. Good job. Is that more Excelivir? Good job, you opened it. Hmm, well done. Okay then, let's see what's in here. First off. Two star key cards. We can use these to play the AB as many as we want. Hold on, those keys are important, but uh, look at this. Excelivir, the Radical Six Cure. One's fake though. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I don't know what to say. Quark is, Quark is gonna be okay. Is he crying? All right, let's get out of here. We need to do stuff to get Quark and Alice. No, but first let's solve the puzzle again. Yeah, you're right, this key should do the trick. This key is safe. Okay, sorry Tembyoji, I have another puzzle to solve. Let's get moving. It should really just kick us out of here. Wow, so it kicked us out of one of the other ones, but not this one? Okay, so what's the other one that we have to do? We must be the only ones to surpass nine. Okay, like... So I just use Betray every single time, right? D if he dies, do I do I lose my um, do I lose my uh my my point sponge, my point pinata? So I betray once, cycle it out, ally on that on that turn with the mirror guy, and then betray again when he has some more points to give me, and then I'm the only one. Okay, let's see. Must be the only one to to go. So let's let's betray him first. And then we probably want um, betray betray on on that side. So A and E together, and then B and C uh, are both ally. So there we go. So that's that's the the least amount of points given out to everybody else. All right. 
So if I do this again, will D go negative and then dies? Let's find out. I think it does. Didn't we do that once before and it, and it just cancelled out when he went negative? And what do I want to do again? I wanted to put... Uh, just the exact same thing again. So A and... Let's just put A and E together. So they betray. And then these two together. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so now I need to make sure that B and C don't get any points this round. Oh, shit. Okay, so is that where it's tricky? That doesn't work? We need to ally with someone. So we need to ally with D. Right? So now we ally with D. He's he's just going to do it. La my Um C and... C needs to... It says surpass 9. So is getting to 9 okay? It says surpass specifically. So is that alright? Because B and C is, is 9. But it says surpass 9. I'm going to guess that it won't accept it. But I kind of want to know. A and E are going to betray each other anyway. Should we find out? Should we find out, chat? Because right now, B and C are both going to get 9, but we're going to be the only one that get, that, that get over 9, right? So, am I right? Alright. Nah, it didn't work. Alright, so it is, it is 9. Alright, so... Um... Can we do it the other way? So we, we always betray D, who's who's Luna. Um, and we always put A and E together, so they betray each other. And then we put B and C together. Alright, and then we betray. Okay, and then I need to split the betrayers up. So I just go with mirror C, right? And I bet no, I have to go with D again, and I can just ally. That's fine. Or I can betray. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, and then I and then I just split A. I just split these two up, right? Because then A is going to betray C and get no not enough points, and E is going to betray B and not get enough points either, right? So I can just I can just ally with um, Luna here and get more and everyone else doesn't get any, right? There you go. Alright. Nice one. Looks like that was the answer. Alright, moon, sun, star. Oh, there are three different symbols now in different places. Moon, sun, star. Moon, sun, star. Yes, it's open. All right. Redacted. All right, so we can read all the golden files now, right? Because we have them all? Damn, we have all of them. All right. Okay, this, why didn't this turn on? Is it gonna turn on when we leave? All right, so um, I think this was the best room. This was really cool. This was kind of eh, but not completely stupid, like a little stupid, but then again, like Chad actually helped me realize that, so maybe not. Um, but I think this was the best room, this was really cool. I like how you had this puzzle to get the puzzles out and um, you kind of have to like earn every single way. It's kind of like a break-in in order to, to get in here. Um, bringing the rest of the puzzles back was kind of neat. Yeah, this was a really good room. I liked it. Then again, I also got, like, super fucking lucky on that one. So, you know, maybe maybe not. The door's lock. It says lock. You guys ready? All set here. Go for it. All right. Three, two, one. 
two, three. Stop that. Jeez. One more time. Three, two, one. Doctor of Escapology and Achievement Unlocked Escape Est. Huh. Not Est, Est. It opened. We should get back to the Flore warehouse then. Hey, wait. Did you guys hear what? something? You didn't hear it? It came from over there. It sounds like someone turning on. See, I told you. The screen wasn't on before. You're right. Guess it was set to turn on when we opened the door. It looks like an authentication screen. I think we need to put in an ID and a password. Uh, yeah, but what? That was why I noticed the illustration. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the sun. The lion is eating the... So, ninth... And then Jumpy Doll, Memento Mori, Remember Death. If the ninth lion ate the sun. Or is it just E? E, and then Jumpy Doll. Oh, of course. This was the real ninth lion. But, if that was the case... Remember death. Okay, last time we actually did have to fill it out. Okay, is it just the same as last time with, with Luna? We haven't done Jumpy Doll yet. Is it just E and then Jumpy Doll? No? Okay, I, I don't know what it wants from me then. Let's try this one. GTF. DML. Zero, one, six. Wait, 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 what's, what's, uh, what's Akani's last name? Kira... Kishi? Is that it? I actually am going to look at chat. How do you spell it? Kurashiki. Shiki, thank you. I would have just Googled how to spell it, so that's, that's better. Kurashiki. I was close, though, right? All right, Jumpy Doll. Is that it? Because that fits. Hey! All right. Sigma. How terrifying. Did you know? You're... Akane. Her name is Akane Kurashiki. I kinda handle this. I've been looking for her for a very long time. He walked toward her, slowly, carefully, almost as if he was afraid of scaring her away. He reached out. She's a hologram. Oh. Uh, what a terrible time to have a break. Be back in five minutes.
How's it going, Dragon's Den? How am I the one that's being loud? What the hell, Dragon's Den? Uh, I wanted to say something. Shit. What do I want to say? Oh. oh, good stretch, good stretch. Uh, I'm willing to go as much as two hours over today to finish today in case this takes a really long time. Um, but, you know, I, I have a feeling it could take four hours, but it also might be done in two. I, uh, the story parts can go on a bit, so we'll see what happens. There's like 10 hours left. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. She's a hologram. Temi OG squeezed his eyes shut. I thought he was going to say something else. Me. He closed his hand around empty air and let it fall to his side. There was a moment of sad silence and then she began to speak. I see. If you want, you know, to bamboozle me into uh, knowing that there's a lot of time left, you just need to say there's only 10, 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left. And remember, the great Ace Attorney bamboozlement of 2020. One hour left for six hours. One hour left for six hours. I've been waiting for you. Well, I suppose that's slightly inaccurate. What you see now is a holographic message I recorded before you came here. Unfortunately, this means I will not be able to answer your questions, at least not directly. I hope you will understand. Now, where to begin? You probably have a great many questions. What day is it? Where are we? What's the melting point of steel? Who is Zero? And what does he have to do with Akane Kurashiki? But I imagine there is one question that rises above all the others. Why were we brought here? The answer to that is simple. You're here to save the world. Everything that has happened here is part of our plan. All of this was required for the success of the AB project. Can I turn the music down? Why are the options not here? Like, the music's a little louder than she's talking, don't you think? I assume you heard the name by now, at least. In any event, you are all needed in order to execute our plan. Isn't that obvious? Oh, much better. The nonary game was necessary for the same reason. Your question now, I imagine, is just what is this AB project? The answer to that is also simple. Allow me to explain. We created the AB project for one purpose. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma. And you, 
Fine. What do you mean, the past? The moment the words were out of my mouth, I realized no one there could answer the question. Not Phi, not Temyoji, and certainly not a pre-recorded hologram. Have you figured out what this room is? I assume you saw the Q on the door. It stands for quantum. Yay! That makes this the quantum room. It took me a moment to realize she'd changed subjects without even pausing. There was nothing we could do, of course, but I still felt a twinge of frustration. Take a look at the rear of the room. Do you see that large enclosure? That houses our quantum computer. Just permanently sick of your shit, huh? The systems that control this entire facility run on that machine. That includes the construct you refer to as Zero Junior, as well as the golems. All right, smash it. All of them do their thinking in that box. Isn't that strange, though? It seems contrary to how we perceive the world. The body. The thing that you see and interact with is somewhere else. But the mind and all its thoughts are in this box. No, that's actually pretty straightforward. It's a computer. Like, I expected it. It was just going to be in a box somewhere. I didn't think it was going to slide out of a room like this. I thought it would be kind of, like, maybe protected in a room. But, but, but no, this is... No, that's... Doesn't run contrary to anything, okay. Perhaps it isn't so strange, though. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Perhaps humans are the same, with our minds and thoughts existing separate from our bodies. Alright, this must have been really awkward the first times they did this and realized that it wasn't always going to be Sigma and Phi that came in this room when they had to tweak the morb. The first time the people came in here and it was like fucking Clover, Alice, and Dio, and they're just like, whoa, what? Like, <laughs> our have individual brains, think individual thoughts, and act according to individual wills. That makes communication difficult, though. So, we're forced to rely on inefficient mediums, like language, photographs, non-verbal cues, etc., to transmit information. They wouldn't know the idea and password. Why not? On on one timeline, I'm sure they found the key card earlier and kept it with them. And one of them would have eventually just kind of lucked into like, oh, that key card. Why not? Let's try it. It's the only two things that fit. Like, no, nah, it would it would have happened. Each one of us is an individual, and we have no direct connection to anyone else. But is that really true? In the dimensions we are most familiar with, yes, it is. If we look at from another higher dimension, however. We may all be connected after all. Like the branches of a tree or a rhizome. Imagine a horizontal cross section of the root system of a large tree. All you can see are the spots where the roots intersect the plane of your cross section. Ooh, four dimensional bullshit, okay. In the two dimensions you see. We're in Flatland. But this isn't the case. If you expand your view and look at the root system in three dimensions instead of only two, you see the truth. This was a puzzle earlier too. Nice. All the roots join together at the trunk. In two dimensions, they appear to be separate. Wait. But what does B Koi look like in the next dimension then? If this is just a flat cross section, what does B Koi have to do with this? But if you look at the roots from a third higher dimension, be not afraid. Be not afraid. You see, things that might appear to be separate from one another in three dimensions could be connected to one another if you look at them in four dimensions. Doesn't that at least seem like it could be a possibility? <laughs> this, this has a really big... Well, what if we disregard your point and consider that I'm right? <laughs> exactly the same as the, as the Titanic thing. Aha, but what if... <laughs> How human 
consciousness actually works. All right. Well, I'm not the only one, I suppose. Zero and I share that belief. Morphogenetic field theory. AKA Morbing. Tamioji mumbled something that sounded like nonsense. I opened my mouth to ask him what it meant, but Akane was already talking again. Now, when I talk about a fourth dimension, I'm referring to the fourth dimension used in Minkowski space time. <sighs> Tamioji, shouldn't you just go give Quark the, the antidote? Let's start with a single dimension, where all that exists is a point. Connect points to one another, and you have a line. In one dimension, the only surface you can create is that, a line. But move to two dimensions, and create more lines, and you can create shapes. These are two-dimensional surfaces. Yeah, we did this already. Move up to three dimensions, and you can connect these shapes to one another and form three-dimensional objects. Now you have a three-dimensional surface, which encompasses a volume of space. Connect three-dimensional objects to one another, and you formed a four-dimensional object, which encompasses a volume of both space and time. Now, nah, th this is just three-dimensional objects, you know, arranged in a, in a creative way. This, this isn't it at all. Damn, the game couldn't give a good visualization of four dimension? What a shit game. What a shit game not being able to show me what the fourth dimension actually looks like. It is on that fourth dimensional axis that our minds are connected. If that was true, then what would prevent anyone from sending their consciousness backward or forward in time? That theory is the foundation of the AB project. A to B. The A represents after. And the B represents before. It probably sounds silly to you. A ridiculous story made up by a mad old woman. But look at what's happened to you. You've seen many different worlds and timelines, haven't you, Sigma? And what about you, Phi? I know you have too. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? She came down in a bubble, dog. <laughs> Ten Yoji should know what I'm talking about as well. I believe you experienced something very similar nearly half a century ago. You sent your consciousness to the past to help save a little girl's life. It was a long time ago, but perhaps you still remember. How could I yeah, forget? of course I do. How could I forget? That little girl was you, Akane. Suddenly felt like Fi and I were outsiders, trespassing on something we had no right to see. Temioji's face was taunt, taunt with taunt, taut with emotion as he looked into Akane's eyes. It seemed almost like she was looking back at him. Now, unfortunately, my time is up. The final stage of the project will begin very soon. I need to go prepare. The next time we meet, I can tell you the rest of the story. All right, so Jumpy confirmed, Akane confirmed. All right, so Jumpy, Jumpy had kind of hints to it that he was someone from the past past games because of what happened with Clover, but I wasn't sure. But I feel like I got there through like, you know, okay, I, I feel like it has to be someone from the past game. It might not be, but it's either Santa or it's Jumpy. It's got to be like that, all right? So, so, so we get there, right? How the fuck did I know this was Akane? I want to disagree with the premise and its pseudoscience of, of Morbing, but it's kind of spooky. How the fuck did I just feel out that that was Akane? I don't get it. There, there was no uh, evidence or, or hints at that at all when I said it. And like, it was the, from the first time I saw her, the first time I was like, I feel like that's Akane for some reason. It's weird. Maybe there's some, like, she kind of looks like her more or something, or maybe there's some sort of visual hint I'm picking up on or something. I don't know. 
So come and find me. I'll be waiting. In my swimsuit. One last thing. The cat in the box. Is it alive? Or is it dead? Sigma? Fine. You will decide its fate. Goodbye. Wait. Akane, wait! <laughs> oh, Tenmyoji. I can almost see you. You don't need to worry. Everything is going to be okay. I will see you again one day. I promise. But I'm going to have to ask you to wait just a little longer. Wait. Akane! Akane! And then she was gone. Quark isn't your grandson, by the way. He's your son. He's our son from a different timeline when we came here and and then you raised him. Temyoji collapsed to his knees, his back hunched and shaking. I saw tears land on the white knuckled fists he pressed against his thighs. Oh. I kept quiet. What was there to say? Finally, I looked at one another and nodded silently. With a shaking hand, Temyoji pulled the photograph out of his pocket, and then he ate it. It was a picture of a girl. After all we've been through, her smile was enough to break your heart. Okay, so three people are from the, the frozen pods. So let's let's go through it. Nine people, right? Temyoji Quark are from the present day, which is probably 2078 or something. This is so, something like that. Temyoji Quark are from the present day. Dio is from the present day. Luna is a robot. K is a clone. I'm going to say K is from the present day. Clover and Alice are either also clones of their original form from, from the past, or they were frozen. So that's two people frozen. Okay? K has to be from the present day. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so so who's left? Phi, Sigma, and, and that's it, right? Phi and Sigma? Okay, I'm going to guess... Phi was also frozen. And Sigma is from present day. And has just somehow been mind wiped to think he wasn't from the present day. Because, like, we're old. We're, we're completely old. Like, we have to be. We have to be. So, I don't think anyone else could be, could be in the cryopod. I guess it's possible that K could have been in the cryopod. But the rest, no. It could also be that there weren't three people in the cryopod and it was just like, oh, they were on, but they weren't they weren't working. Or there could have been someone else in there that isn't in there now. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. It took only a few minutes to, to, to decide to head to the infirmary. As soon as we arrived, we began to treat Alice and Quark for Radical Six. I gave Luna the Accelivere that I found in the Q room. She quickly prepared it and... Don't we want to go synthesize some more? No, we're not doing it? Okay, cool. Injected Alice and Quark. Thank goodness. K knew present day Akane, so he has to be from the present day. Okay, sure, but... He also could have been... Ah, uh, once I opened that can of worms, anyone could have been frozen in preparation for it then, right? Because just because they were in the cryogenic pods doesn't mean they were in the cryogenic pods for the whole thing from the, from the past. It, it could have been that, like... Alice and Clover were put back in, in back in there in 2028, but Kay was put in there in 2067 or whatever. You know what I mean? But if like that's that's stupid. That opens up a big can of worms. So it has to be Fire Sigma. I'm gonna guess Phi. It will take some time for them to recover completely, but they should be fine. Good. Indeed. Thank you, Luna. And thanks for finding the medicine, you guys. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Ooh, look at this Omega smile. Oh, it changed. She can hear me. No need to thank us. 
Tamayoji said nothing, just walked over to Quark's unconscious body. He took the small boy's hand in his own and held it tight. I could see tears at the corners of his eyes as he turned away from us. How many squares are left? Oh, we're done! Alright, cool, we're at the end. Alright, nice. Alright. We're definitely finishing today. Alright. There's no way that anything else is going to happen here. There's no way. It's fine. We're good. This is the end. Suddenly I remembered. Dio, where had he gone? It didn't take me long to find him. He was sprawled unconscious on the floor beneath the sink. And if we pulled down his pants on his inner thigh, he had written le oh, handcuffs. We found those in the crew quarters. Oh yeah, that is where they came from. Before okay. you returned, we went to check on the bomb in room two. And we found them there. Of course, the bomb was indeed turned off. Thank you again for dealing with them. You're welcome. You are, quite literally, lifesavers. You have my eternal gratitude. I coughed awkwardly and looked pointedly around the room. I glanced over at Phi to see she was doing the same thing. Alright, what happens now? We just, we all play the game and escape together? That would be kind of cool. After that, we headed to the floor A warehouse to play the AB game. Specifically, me, Phi, K, and Luna. Clover and Temioji decided to remain in the infirmary just in case something happened with Alice, Quark, or Dio. Luna would represent Clover's team. With Quark and Dio sleeping, K would represent their team by default, which left me, Phi, and Temioji. You should vote. No, I'll let you handle it. I chose Betray in the last round. You probably don't trust me right now. What? That doesn't matter now. Excuse me. I apologize for interrupting, but I think you should be the one to vote in the next round, Phi. Gonna vote Betray? Why? You already have 9 BP. There's no reason for you to choose Betray now. You see? What if I want more? Hey, you're acting like I might actually try and betray Not her. Not necessarily. Um, what does it matter what he's suggesting? We're almost there. We just have to play the A-B game three more times. Thank you! Exactly! Thank you! God damn it! And we can all get nine points. But that means each representative has to choose ally all three times. Yeah, and there's no reason not to. Unless you just, you really want to get out of here 45 minutes sooner because you have to go take a shit outside or something. Like, there's got to be bathrooms around here somewhere. It's fine. Don't worry. Are we really going to have... Okay. All right. Three more, uh, man, I don't know about that. that that's going to take a while, you know, eh. Okay, I'll vote. You sure you're all right with this, Sigma? Yeah, yeah, I trust you. I handed her the star key. Shall we open the doors? Why don't we just all go get aluminum foil and just open the door right now? Quick. An ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until ambidex game polling closes. Give this big showdown later and it's gonna be like, oh no, you still have your bracelet on. And then, and then Sigma's gonna be like, oh yeah? Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> Anime pose with like ripping out uh, aluminum foil. Accidentally gets, gets himself like a aluminum foil paper cut on the side of his uh, web of his thumb and his forefinger. No, I have this. My god, no, you know about foil? I do know about foil. Rap, 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 rap. Holds it up in an anime Power Ranger pose, wrapped up. You can't get me now, Zero. Oh, right. We have to wait for the deadline. Oh. Not again. Well, we could vote earlier. But then each voter would be stuck inside the AB room for 45 minutes. Okay, let's go back to the infirmary then. I agree. Please, lead the way. Luna and Kay set off toward the layout yellow door. I was about to follow when... Hold on. Alice ran into the room and voted Betray. I just remembered something. Uh-oh, you just morphed? The AB room on the left, in one of the other histories, she... Oh yeah, you're right. Akane's body was in there. What does that? What does this mean? Why didn't we find her body in this Maybe time? Maybe because she wasn't murdered. Okay, then how does Dio have the bracelet? But how? When did history change? Do you remember what Akane said? The cat in the box. Is it alive? Or is it dead? 
Wait, in one timeline, the, the stabbing wasn't fatal, so she just gets back up and leaves? She just said no and left. Sigma, five. You will decide its fate. The Schrodinger's cat exactly. thing. Exactly. No, it's, it's not it at all. I wonder what she meant about us deciding her, its Perhaps fate. Perhaps she was saying her own fate wasn't decided yet. Huh? The history where she's alive and the history where she's murdered are both real right now. I have a feeling I'm going to hate this. What? No, that's impossible. We've already opened the box. We opened the door to this AB room and there was no body. No, we haven't opened the box. We haven't found a body. But we haven't found her alive yet either. In other words, we haven't actually observed her. Okay, but Dio still had. Is there still blood on the wall? Dio still had to stab her, right? Okay, whatever. The hologram was a recording from before this game started. This makes sense. Does it? The next time we meet, I can tell you the rest of the story. So come and find me. I'll be waiting. In my swimsuit, like. Someone has observed her, Dio. Dio doesn't have a bracelet, right? Because it's the same, unless there's like some weird timeline shenanigans up here that are different. No matter what, by the time we get to this part where there's branches and we haven't decided, Dio has already stabbed her and taken the bracelet. So unless there's like an actual split here that we didn't know about that's different, but this is the one that determines it. So in reality, it's, it's not this, you know, these versions. It's actually this one has its own timeline over here, and and there there is no bridge here. It's these this one leads to these two, and this one, which is functionally identical for us, leads down here. But then how did Dio get the bracelet? In one timeline, she just like just goes out of the box and just like yeets the bracelet on the floor or whatever. Like, um, like as far as I understand, and they can introduce some 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 new variables. That's fine. But as far as I understand it, right now. Dio still had to come in, still had to acquire her bracelet, which means he observed her out and stabbed her. So something different must have happened up here then, if that's the case. Oh. Where was Akane now? Where was she waiting for us? Or what if she wasn't anywhere now? What if she was waiting for us in another timeline? No, there's blood. There's blood. So she was stabbed. She was stabbed. All right, so she's in this timeline. She just survived the stabbing, I guess. So what? Luna moved her somewhere else. Is she in one of the the treatment pods? No, we went. Well, did we go through one of those? I'm not sure. Or she was waiting for us in the past. Was that even possible? If she was, what would that mean? Okay, there we go. That makes sense. All right, cool. So my line of reasoning was 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 fine. Okay, so that doesn't go down here. Does it go over here or whatever? All right, here we go. All right, cool. Huh. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. You didn't, you didn't know, but actually now they go up. They go up now. There's one up here and one up here and Lamayo, one goes up here too. <laughs> you thought you were done? This is halfway, motherfucker. Here we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where the hell am I? Looks like an elevator. Bye. No. This is one of the AB rooms. Gah, who the hell are you? And what the hell's an AB room? <sighs> Damn, 
I guess you did lose your memory after all. Memory? Memory? Okay, are they going to do something? I wanted to say this earlier, but, you know, I didn't want to talk over it too much. Um, maybe a couple streams ago, I would really like it if, after all this, you just did, like, one canon line where you just made all the best decisions based on what's been morbed instead of, like, this kind of messed up, kind of stitched one together. Like... We know everything now, so let's just make sure this is all good. You know, we immediately go out, fucking just like World of Tomorrow, not World of Tomorrow, Edge of Tomorrow, just smash down Dio, channel our inner um, Tom, Tom Cruise, you know, like. Here we go. I remember. You're Fi. She grins. When is this? Check your bracelet. It's a red pair. BP is three. Mine's the same. Does this mean this is the beginning of the game? We've gone back to when we first woke up in the AB room. No, not quite. Okay, so are we gonna go out and after after Dio stabs the old lady, we're gonna save her? And that kind of breaks the timeline for the other one, but that's fine. I think we woke up a little earlier this time. And then that's gonna go like splinter off, boom, boom down here, and then this this was just this was a lie, I guess. All right. Push the How buttons you know? on the side of your bracelet. Two hours, fifteen minutes. We didn't wake up this long before the primary doors opened last time. Well, why did we do this time then? I think we're about an hour early. Damn, through the more through the morb field, we just became more resistant to the drugs. All right, cool. Wait a minute. If you're right. Yeah. Akane might still be alive. We got back before Dio killed her. I think. Okay. Then. Right. We're here for one reason. <sighs> to stop her from getting killed. Exactly. Let's move. We need to get out of here fast. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's go. No, I don't want to do You need to remember the password for the safe. We figured out last time. Once a, once a password has been found, it will never change. Going back to the past or changing timelines won't alter it. Shit. Alright. Uh, sun, sun, star. Okay, I opened it. No, that's the wrong password. We need the other one to get the key. Oh, damn, you're right. It's empty. The casino! Who took the golden file then? What the hell? Spooky. Sun, star, moon. What if we put them back now on this line? Ah, there it's open. Good work. Hurry up and grab the, the cracker. Cracker. Ah, damn, I meant key. Okay, again, why does that happen? How the hell? Just shut up and do it. That's gotta be a thing, right? Gotta be. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be. Where do we use the key again? Oh, over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's put this key in here. For God's sake, just do it already. No need to yell. Alright. Good. Looks like that worked. Ready, Fi? What do you think? I know, I know. I don't need to ask every time, right? Then why the hell are you asking? Hurry up and... Right, right. I'm going, I'm going. Ten, nine, eight, one, done. Okay. How does anyone get out of here on their own? Hey, you pushed the button. Bite me. You were taking too long. We're on a schedule here. Ugh.
Fi and I climbed up through the hatch and out onto the top of the AB room. It took us only a moment to spot them. Akane! Behind her was Dio. He was moving quickly and quietly, a knife glinting in his right hand. Okay, well we have to let her we have to let her him stab her and take the bracelet, or else that's just a huge change. Shit. There was no time to yell to her. I scrambled down from the top of the AB room. Fi wasn't following me. When I looked back, she was still standing on the roof. Fi, what the hell are you doing? Get down here and before I could finish, she moved. She ran across the roof, launched herself into the air, grabbed the knife, and then stabbed the Kane. Alright. What the He's fine. Just unconscious. Okay. And then and then we're gonna just put the bracelet on him and just throw him in the thing, and he's gonna be like, oh well, seems legit. Like, okay. What? I bent down and held my fingers to the front of his mouth. He was still breathing. I don't think he saw me. Oh, someone knocked me out, put a bracelet on me, threw me in here. But you know what? They left me with my quantum fucking bombs and detonators. So I guess they're the real idiots. But a 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 time to no idea what happened to him. What? <laughs> Guy went down like a sack of potatoes. Had it coming. I heard footsteps coming to stop right in front of us. I looked up. So you came. I've been waiting for you. You're here to hear the rest, right? Wait. Just wait a minute. What the hell is your deal? How can you be so calm? If we hadn't shown up just now, you'd, you'd... Have been stabbed in the heart by this young man and died. Yes. Okay, why was the blood there then? Is it... Wait, is it still there right- No, there was no blood there, so, um, th that was just a mistake. The blood's not supposed to be there in that timeline, they just- They don't have a version of that wall without the blood on it, I guess? Although, that reminds me. I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you saving me. Th that what? Hold on. How do you know about being stabbed by Dio? Are you an Esper too? Yes. I'm more Indeed, I am. I am able to jump through time, just like you. Then what the hell are you thinking? It's not like you can say that to anyone. Like, guys, I infiltrated this base, but I was also knocked out something as sus- No, of course he can't say that. Why would he give his position away? But, in this timeline, he- in one timeline, he gets in here, stabs an old lady, leaves the body, takes the bracelet, goes into the thing, and then proceed. And then that's that's him set. In another timeline, he goes to stab an old lady, gets knocked the fuck out, wakes up in the in the in the box with the bracelet on, right? And on both timelines, he does the exact same thing. Like there's no fucking way after those two bases that he does the exact same fucking thing in both time. That, that's the problem. If you knew he was going to stab you, why were you going to let him do because it? Because I had to. Think what? back. Why are you here? If I hadn't been killed by Dio, no one else would have been murdered. Consequently, your own abilities would never have manifested. He plants the bombs in this time. What do you mean? He plants the bombs in all the timelines, doesn't he? He plants the bomb in this timeline. Yes, he does. On this timeline, we say, what's the activation code for bomb zero? That's where we get it from. Chat, he does! Alright, let's just keep going. I did explain, didn't I? The purpose of the AB project was to send the two of you to the past. Or your minds, at least. In order for that to happen, some death was necessary. When a human brain is faced with danger, its processing speed increases. Information is processed more quickly, 
and time almost seems to slow. A few seconds can feel like an eternity. Unfortunately, that in itself isn't enough to send oneself through time. The amplitude of the consciousness is simply too small. Okay, what does that mean? In order to increase the amplitude, we need to slow down the brain before the increase happens. It's a little like a slingshot. You pull back on the rubber band and then let go. The potential energy you stored in the band is released and converted into kinetic energy. That's what fires the bullet out of the slingshot. Now, while a slingshot can only fire in one direction, your mind isn't similarly limited. When the bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain, it travels past the three-dimensional world and into the four-dimensional one. From that perspective, time is no longer fixed. In other words, you can travel to the future, the past, whenever you like. Really? The future too? Your consciousness has been released from the three-dimensional cage. So when we do this, we actually are just jumping wherever we want. I thought I thought when we jumped here, it was just it was just the game telling you, okay, yeah, you jumped here, but in reality, you did actually just do all this again. We're just skipping that for you. But no, you're actually jumping from different place to place. Okay, that's cool. In order for that to happen, I had to infect you with Radical Six. Whoa, what? We're infected with Radical Six? Why? Yes. Don't you remember, Sigma? Luna should have told you about it in another timeline. Are... are you sure? Infecting all of these people with such a horrible disease? Every single one of you has been infected. Well, apart from Luna, of course. Unfortunately, it was necessary. We needed to slow your minds in order to store up your potential energy. Then we provided a dire situation that would accelerate your processing speed. The result is what you are now experiencing. Okay, did you guys f formulate Radical Six in order to do that then? It was kind of like a side effect is the suicide, but if you slow your minds down, then it kind of like it's like loading you up to go back. Okay. Your consciousness now occupies four dimensional space time. Even that, however, wasn't enough. Okay. You had the ability to travel, but your memories could easily be lost during the trip. And also, if we went back to a, a time when we didn't have Radical Six, we wouldn't be able to come back again, right? It's a one way, we're stuck. If the project was to succeed, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. That was the reason you were forced to jump so many times. With each jump, your ability to remember improved. Eventually, you would be able to retain everything. Okay, so... This is just... Oh, it's high school. Okay, so this is just high school then. And we're the only two students, and everything else is just like Lamayo. Okay, cool. Alright. It's anime. We're in high school. Alright. That is why we made you play the A-B game. What about the notary game? That was why you had to select different chromatic doors. By forcing specific choices, we could cause you to make more jumps. I get it. I think I finally understand. Well, okay, there are a lot of things I don't understand, but all of what you just told me makes sense. You did all of this so that Fi and I could jump through four-dimensional space with our memories intact. Yes. Right? Yes. But why did you need us to do that? People have died for this. I mean, let's count how many different ways people died. Murder, antimatter explosion, suicide. I've died, so has Fi. So have you. So why would you do all this? What does it matter that Fi and I jump through time? Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. 
You are all destined to die. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. I already know all that. What I'm asking you is why? What is so goddamn important that it's worth all this? Ah. You see, we ordered the wrong kind of pizza. <laughs> It had mushrooms on it. You know how much we hate mushrooms. Go back and fix the order. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. What? Just when is eventually? In a future not very far from now. Bullshit. That's not good enough. Why can't you tell us now? Instead of answering, I kind of knelt down next to Dio and picked up his knife off. Picked his knife up off the floor. I'm going to keep this with me. All right. Don't change the subject. But it's almost time. What are you talking about? We've got plenty of time. No. In a few moments, you'll return to the original timeline. What? What? This is the way it has to be. Don't fight it. Lagomorph. Yes. Lagomorph? Lagomorph. You call him Zero Junior. His official designation is Lagomorph. Mm -hmm. Your favorite favorite bunny when you were in school? Lagomorph, this is an order. Unlock my bracelet. Compliance. Now, everything is in place. I have put the bracelet onto Dio. All we have to do is place his body in the fifth AB room, the second one from the right. That's the one Quark is in, right? Correct. I will move him. Uh, I mean, are you capable of doing that? I will also put your bodies back into the third AB room. How? Once that's done, I will reset its puzzle to an unsolved state. Why do you need to do to all that? To recreate the history that you remember. Your consciousness is about to leave your body and return to the future. Oh, so much of this, the way the story works is dependent on Dio being an absolute fucking moron. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Your body will be emptied, and your other consciousness will jump back in. If your bodies aren't back in the third AB room by then, it would be... bad. So you're saying some version of us is going to wake up in that room and repeat the same history again? Well, I guess this could actually be our second or third time. You are exactly correct. Lastly... I'm going to leave this with you. She paused and pulled something out of her pocket. It was a small key attached to a string. I'll tie it onto your ankle so that you won't lose it. All right, Sigma. All right, now go back to the original timeline and look down at your ankle. Oh my god, there was a key there the whole time. I didn't feel it the whole time we were in the timeline. Damn, what a good place to tie it. All right, untie it. All right, here we go. What's it say on there? To fui ego eris. <gasps> it's Bicoy's catchphrase. Oh, it's Latin. It means what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Yes. What am I supposed to do it with it? It will help you meet someone who's very important. What? Go. Return to the future. You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. Now hurry. Wait, I still... Okay, Th this is just collapsing at this point. Like, how does that just happen? You know, like, uh, okay. A new destination has been added to the flowchart. Okay, one down there now. 
So this should really, this should disappear at this point, and this should splinter off down here, right? I guess that they don't have to perfectly represent it, but that's fine. Okay, let's go. Oh, no, it's up here. Oh, looks like you're awake. Trying to cross the border, right? Is this the infirmary? Why are we here? Do you know what happened at the AB gate? Kay and I went back to the infirmary, but... We waited and waited, and the two of you never returned. So we went to the warehouse to check on you. And you had collapsed. We found you passed out in front of the AB rooms. Kay and I hurried back here with you. I looked over at Fi, something, shit. I met her eyes. Do you remember what happened just now? You mean what happened a long time ago? Yeah. You got him pretty good, huh? Huh. <laughs> yeah, I remember all right. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Quar? What am I, top liver? Yes. Yes, you are, Alice. Back among the conscious and not psychotic, huh? You're a lice. Yeah, thanks. Grandpa told me what you did. Thanks for finding the medicine for us. No problem. All in a day's work. Although, I wouldn't mind a little swimsuit action. Really grabbing at straws here, aren't I you? I mean, if she wore a swimsuit, she'd be covering more of her skin than she is now. Hey, I wasn't talking to Quark. That was an offer for Alice. Not really my point. Oh, whatever. Forget about that. Now that you guys are awake, all we gotta do is open the number nine door. What are you talking about? Look at your bracelet. Um. It says 10 for 10 Miyoji. I have 10 BP. I've got 15 BP? That means I got six more points while I was out. Oh, this was a good way of, um, of skipping over that. That's nice. But how? You've been asleep for more than two hours. How did we get to the infirmary, though, without the load of the map screen? Beep, 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 We've beep, played beep, the beep, AB. beep, 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 beep. Three yes. times, yes. Of course, the color and group assignments were shuffled around each time. But no matter who voted, everyone chose ally. And now all of us have enough to leave. I was stunned. How had everyone cooperated long enough to raise all of our VP past nine? The power of friendship. Was it because Akane hadn't been killed? Without a death to start things off, maybe we'd been less suspicious of one another. Or could the bombs have had something to do with it? We'd all joined forces against Dio, and Fi and I had been able to disarm all of them. All of us had banded together against a common enemy and overcome a tremendous threat, perhaps that had strengthened our bond. Our bond! Great vegetables. Great vegetables. Haven't done this in a while. Great vegetables. Except for Dio. Get fucked, Dio. Which, I had to admit, would be somewhat ironic. The power of cooperation is boosted whenever Alice is unconscious. Get fucked, Dali! After all, Dio had planted the bombs that forced us all to work to get against, together against him. Together! This must have been what Akane was talking about. Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. Come on! Let's go! Let's open the door and get out of here! Wait. What about him? Fuck him, just leave him. After some discussion, we decided to leave Bio. Holy shit! Alice was the, the only holdout. What? She complained about wanting to take him back to her superiors, but after I mentioned they'd come back to investigate after we escaped and, to, and deal with Dio then, she reluctantly complied. Alright, let's get going. Get fucked, Dio! Is Luna gonna stay too? Wait, did we take the handcuff off him at least? What if... What if we can't get back in here for a long time? We took the handcuffs off, right? Because that's just killing him. Like, he kind of deserves it. But, you know, like, everybody ready? I'm gonna open it. Clover already has. Yes, just get on with it. Clover already has. 
everyone else swallowed the knot, swallowed and nodded. Kind of a plot hole that we actually everyone got above the points, considering Clover would have just opened it immediately. I grabbed the lever and pulled it down. The number nine door has been opened. What about the key? Don't we have to go back to that tombstone and open? Oh, there was a thing on the key. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we're not going. All right. It will remain open for nine seconds. Wait, do I have to go there? Was it this one? Red door control room. Archives. Garden. If I jump back to the garden... Can I open it? Because I have the key. Right? Oh. Alright, everybody. Let's move. I didn't need to tell them twice. The room inside was clearly a loading elevator. It looked so, sort of like a large plate on top of a huge pedestal. We ran to the center of the plate and turned around. The number nine door stood wide open. Two. One. Zero. The number nine door is closing. The number nine door has closed. This ends. The Nonary Game. The Nonary Game. The Nonary Thank Game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number 9 door have been unlocked. Alright, time to learn it was all a dream. Looks like we did it. Yes, we should keep moving. Beyond the door was a wide hallway that ended in a very solid wall. To the left, to the left, we found a very familiar looking door. We pushed it open and went in. <laughs> the pressure exchange chamber. You know what this place is? Yeah, sort of. This whole- shit. This whole facility is pressurized, apparently. I think the idea is to keep the air outside and consequently the virus from getting inside- Wait, we still have the virus! We st- Ex Excelivir. We didn't synthesize more, because we're idiots. That means if we want to go- we want to go out, we have to decompress so we match the outside air pressure. This room here is where you prepare for going into the actual pressure exchange room. You see all those suits along the wall? I, f I figure we need to put those on and head to the decompression room downstairs. Whoa! Hold on a minute! You're saying the air outside is full of that horrible virus? Uh, I don't see how that could work, but that was the assumption I was going on. <laughs> yeah, that's what seems like... Uh, can Is that possible? Can, like, a virus just exist in the air like that? Like, uh, I, I, maybe? I don't know enough about viruses. Of course, according to Akane, we were already infected with Article 6, so the whole room seemed like a little point. Isn't the virus something like it, it can only exist with with a host? Why? Like, it can exist outside a host for a little while, but it can't... It can't repopulate and just stay in the air indefinitely, right? Like... How why? did all this happen? Did... Did they... No. That's not possible. We've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's go outside. 
There's no way to know what's really going on until we do. Are you going to put a suit over your suit? All right. If we remember everything now, why aren't we asking Kay why he has our face? Or are we still not remembering everything? It's just everything on this timeline, I guess. No one else ejected. We all donned the protective suits and headed downstairs to the decompression room. As soon as we were all inside, the process began. We should be asking Temioji questions too. Through my helmet, I could hear the soft hiss of air being sucked out of the room. We stood there for several minutes, waiting for the process to finish. At last it did, and we heard the door begin to open. Beyond it was another decompression chamber. We repeated the process two more times before we reached the final door and opened it. The dead, bleak landscape wasn't a surprise for me. I'd seen it before in another timeline. The others hadn't, however, and although I couldn't see their faces through the visors of their helmets, I heard more than a few gasps over the radio. For a few long moments, we just stood there, astonished. Where the hell are we? Manchester. The desert, I guess? I figured that out. I mean, which one? I don't know, but I think I know what day it is. Hmm? Look at the moon. It's red, right? That means today's the total lunar eclipse. Nah, the, the moon's just red now. That's part of Radical 6. So? Remember the astronomy magazine in the lounge? Well, the next eclipse like this was going to be on December 31st, 2028. No, you have to flip the year upside down. It's actually the year 8,505. So? Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you suggesting we were sleeping for a week after we were abducted? I think so. Wow, a whole week gone. Wherever we were it must have been far away from any city. The air was clearer than I'd ever seen it. And the stars. The sky was full of them. More stars than I'd ever seen in my life. I could even spot the hazy arm of the Milky Way. But the most striking feature was the moon. It was blood red and massive. Much bigger, in fact, than I remember it being. Now, they painted the, rune, the moon red. Then as I watched, a black spot began to move across its surface. It was hard to see the details, but it looked circular. The spot continued to move across the moon, heading for the right edge. What's that? The moon. Well, the moon's shadow, actually. The moon's shadow? I frowned. That didn't make any sense. Zero told me to stay quiet. I think he was worried I'd spill the beans on his operation. Of course he did. He said if I didn't toe the line, he wouldn't just kill me. He'd kill Quark, too. And I agreed, like an idiot, and brought Quark with me. Just... just so I could see her. <laughs> Such an idiot. So, that being the case, might as well start with this. I meant what I said before. That up there is the moon's shadow. <laughs> Is there another moon? Think about it. If that's the moon's shadow, then what's it falling on? A copy of the moon. That's Earth? What? But it really looks like it has the, the, the face of the moon on it, right? That's the, the most famous fucking thing about the moon is that it has that kind of face in it. That's a ch that's cheap. That is cheap. Cheap. Yeah. It's not the red moon you get from a lunar eclipse. Then again, this isn't a lunar eclipse. It's a solar eclipse. Oh, that's convenient. Anybody in the black spot down there is looking up at the moon covering the sun. What? No way. If that's the earth, then where the hell are we? All right. We were just inside a moon base. No way. That's bullshit. Uh, no, no way. You've got to be lying. How do you expect us to believe that? You've been walking around like normal. You didn't feel different as soon as you came up here. Like, 
That, that was... Oh, Wuggy. Wuggy. I swear to God, Wuggy. Fucking you were right. God damn it. This is so dumb. Does Radical 6 also make you fucking six times heavier? Like... Yeah, that's why it's called Radical 6. It makes you six times denser and physically and in your mind. So what's this? And then she jumped and flew away. You you hadn't jumped before. She picked up a rock and dropped it. See? That looked perfectly normal. Yes, it looked that way. No! Fuck! <laughs> Okay, even if it did look that way, you would still like any single time that you like jumped in the air or did any try and force or anything, you would still like you would move more than you're used to. That's not how <laughs> Luna. You were right about the gravity in a way. I was one of the people who knew this wasn't Earth. Well, I suppose I'm not people, if we're being honest, but Excuse me? What? Please just listen. Alice, you were infected with radical six. Then we gave you the Accelivere, which cured you. The Radical Six isn't completely gone, though. Some of its symptoms stick around for a while. What symptoms? Isn't that what Fi did? Yeah, and that explains what Fi did. That's what Wuggy, me and Wuggy had to talk about this, and that was and that was one of his one of his theories. And I was like, oh my god, that's so dumb. That might actually be it. It was a uh, it was um. The stream immediately before, uh, it was before before the stream that we actually came out and saw it was Earth because it was the, it was the the red moon, and I was like, holy shit, that's so dumb. That might actually be it. That's why I was freaking out when it was like when he was running out here before, or when Fi couldn't move. I thought, oh shit, she's gonna fall over or whatever. Like radical six, but uh, dude, I know. Like I I figured that out before they even said it. Like no, like. If I did that, sure, that explains that. But you, uh, even if your perception is slowed down, your your physical movement still would be like everything would like if you pushed off a little bit more. You did like a, every single time that doesn't Clover jump in the air for joy or whatever. Every single time that happens, like it, it doesn't matter what your perception is, you're still going fucking up in the air way more than you thought that you were going to. Like there's there's no perception is gonna fucking stop that bullshit. You know, like there's no way. Like, it, oh my god. Oh, it's... Uh, well, radical 6 can slow down your brain's processing speed by the root of 1-6. <laughs> it can take a while for your brain to get back up to speed. Every one of us has been infected. In other words, all of our brains have been processing information at a much lower speed. Yeah, and that's why we're all fucking stupid. But then how did she do the math problem? If you evaluated the root of 1-6... You'll get a number close to 0 0.408. That means our brains are running at something slightly less than half speed. As you said before, the moon's gravity is about one-sixth that of Earth's. Have you seen the footage of the astronauts on the moon? They did a really good fake, but you know, it's it's really representative of what it actually would be like, so you can just take it as real, okay? The astronauts hopping around the moon, okay? Right? The way they have to do. Like, the astronauts were actually uh, afraid of falling over. They had to do training because they, they thought if they ever fell over that it would be so difficult to get back up again that they might, like, damage the suit in some way or whatever. Like, it, it, they, they would have to do, like, that was, like, some sort of danger. It wasn't, like, lethal or whatever, but, like, there were, th that was an issue, right? Like, so the game right now is making the claim that they've been doing this the whole time, but for some reason, fucking R Radical Six just makes it so you're just like, ah, fuck it, I just know what to do. Like, there's no fucking way. Like, the Radical Six, as 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 much as it pains me to say this, the way that they're explaining it right now, that does make sense for you processing if you drop something. Okay, yeah, whatever. That as much as it hurts me to say it, that does explain that. But not fucking moving like not at all like mo like you would still like have major issues when it comes to moving or doing anything else like that the time that it takes for an object to fall is inversely proportional to the square root of the gravitational acceleration since the gravity is lower on the moon that means the time increases i guess that's a little technical let me give you an example say you drop an apple from a height of 4.9 meters it will take approximately one second to hit the ground. On the moon, however, that time would be one second times root six, which would be approximately 
4.45 seconds. I used 4.9 meters because it matches up with the acceleration of gravity nicely, but it could be anything. The gravity constant is, well, a constant. You could drop something from 10 centimeters or 10 meters and it would be the same. Does that make sense? How on earth, we're not on earth, is, is, your, is ZTD worse than this? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, now we've established that on the moon, things fall root six times slower than they do on Earth. That being the case, what would happen if someone's brain slowed down by root one sixth? In ZTD, you actually are the moon, and the moon has gained consciousness from all the people walking around on it, and all the consciousness has seeped into this fucking moon brain, and you're just a moon that's having a dream about the game, and that's what it is, and now the, the moon is trying to stop itself from crashing into Earth to save everybody. <laughs> Four or five seconds would feel like one second. But it's not hypothetical. That's what's been happening to every one of us. Wait, you're saying that's the reason we didn't notice the weaker gravity? <laughs> Are you sure you didn't notice anything? <laughs> Think back. Huh? When Sigmund Phi said something about it in the lounge. About how you felt weird. It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of floating like that. Yeah, no, it would be. Oh my god. It seemed insane, but what Luna said made sense. In fact, it explained Fi's apparent superhuman strength quite well. And, and no one else ever tried to jump. And even when someone else did jump, they just didn't go up. It's permanently stained in blood. That thing is just red. Actually, it's not Earth, it's Mars. Mars and Earth have traded places. Uh, yeah, about that. Before we get into that, I should probably tell you something. This isn't New Year's Eve in 2028. Today is January 27th. 2078. In 29? Thirty-one. Just what year is this? No, go one by one. Seventy-eight, seventy-nine. Seventy-four. Ah, close. Seventy-four. No, that's insane. That would mean we were abducted more than forty-five years ago. Is is Fi the only one we know literally nothing about her life before she came in here? It is. She is right. Like, n absolutely nothing. Alright, that's pretty fucking sus. I don't blame you if you don't believe me, but it's the truth. Where's Quark? How can you be sure? It's not that hard. Quark and I left Earth on January 23rd, 2074. Solar eclipses are easy to predict. We've known that there'd be one on the 27th for a long time. That's just science. Nobody can change that. Science, bitch. But why is the Earth red? That's a long story. About 45 years ago, on April 13th, 2029, there were 18 annihilation reactors operating in various parts of the world. And then Free the Soul blew them all up. On the 13th, all 18 of them went up, all at the same time. The explosion was about 180,000 times as powerful as the atom bomb they dropped on Hiroshima. Okay, so I guess... One of them became unstable, and through the morb field, all of them became unstable. It was like Ice-9, but with antimatter the reactors. Okay. What, what? I suppose it started a few months before that. The government had a test site for a future Mars mission out in the middle of Nevada. On December 31st, 2028, there was an accident. Accident? Well, accident doesn't quite convey the right sense of the thing. The point is... Radical Six claimed its first victims there, then escaped. Didn't take long for it to spread to the rest of the world. Like Luna explained, the virus slows your brain down, but eventually, it also makes you kill yourself. Pretty soon, the bodies started to pile up. Some people would take a dive off a building or shoot themselves in the head. You know, the classics. Wait, so right now, is Temioji actually 
Some people would take the drive off the building. Right, like that, that, that's how they're all talking to each other right now, and we just can't. So. <laughs> For some it's poison or fire or asphyxiation or the noose. Plenty of people jumped in front of trains or cars. Okay, but if you if you if you pissed, right? Like that's a physical thing. So like if you pissed while having a radical six, you would look down. And you would just like it would look like you were pissing on fast forward, right? So, oh, the gravity compensates for it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, what if you were on Earth taking a piss? If you were on Earth taking a piss, then it would be like, whoa, holy shit, I'm a god. You know, like I, I now have, I'm the fastest pisser in the West, right? Like, everything would look like it's moving really, really fast and everything. Is that why they kill themselves on Earth with Article 6? Like, you would feel like you have, like, a fireman's hose, like, going around. Like, right? Like... One pilot on a passenger airline drove his plane into the ground. Most forms of transportation ground to a halt pretty fast. That meant food couldn't get distributed. And thousands of people who weren't even infected died from starvation. Everywhere you went, there were just piles of corpses covered in flies and rats and crows. I don't know what hell's like, but I imagine it's a lot like that. After a while, people who managed to avoid getting infected started trying to get in touch with one another. Okay, so not just one apocalypse, but two. The the antimatter reactors went off, and there was a virus that, that made everyone kill themselves, and like 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 in fucking Long Dong Grandpa. All right, cool. All right. Well, th then again, maybe the Radical Six is what caused the antimatter reactors to go off because. Um, whoever was trying to take, had to take care of them couldn't anymore because they got infected with Radical 6. Okay, yeah. And then the meteor, and then, and then the, <laughs> and then the meteorites, oh no, the meteorites. And then the mole people came out from under the ground, oh no. And then the aliens came, and the sun is, it's, it's getting too hot, oh no. Oh no, we overcompensated for it, now the sun is getting too cold, heat it up, oh no. <laughs> It turns out Mars was made of Doritos, and they've exploded, and there's just Dorito dust all over the solar system now, and it's it's come on down to the Earth, and it's and it's made the whole Earth red. But oh no, we need to raise a whole society of gamers to go out and eat all the Dorito dust to make everything go back to normal quickly, quickly, more back, make everyone a gamer. They could just roast the surface of the Earth, and that it killed the virus off for good. Uh, oh, wait, oh my God, what? They. On April 13th in 2029, they put their plan into effect. Luckily, it worked. That it worked. Was to detonate all 18 annihilation reactors. And it worked. It did. Now, the truth is, that's mostly just rumor. Nobody really knows what happened. Okay. But I've got my own theories. All right. I think that the bombers had already been infected, and when they died, they took billions with them. That makes more sense. Why didn't we just go with that? The ultimate, if I die, you're coming with me gesture, I suppose. I bet you money they'd all lost it long before they got to the reactors. Killing most of the world, no matter how bad things had gotten, was not a sane plan, even if it wasn't directly responsible. Radical Six killed most of the people on Earth. Anyway, why it happened isn't that important. Point is, it happened. You ever heard of nuclear winter? Well, that's basically what we got. You, if, even if you... Okay, that only works if you drop something straight down. If you drop it straight down, okay, then everything's going to look good. But it doesn't even it doesn't even make sense. If anything had any trajectory whatsoever, it would move way further away than you thought it would. Like, as it's, as it's falling down, it would also have more time to go away from you. Like, oh my god. Like, the, yeah, we threw darts! The explosion threw a ton of crap up into the stratosphere, where it joined up with smoke and ash from all the fires. It blotted out the sun for seven years. Plants withered and animals died. 
died by the millions. The few humans who were left banded together to survive. They were rough times. Eventually, they were over, though. The sky cleared and the sun came back. That's good. The plants started blooming again, and the animals that hadn't died out completely began to reappear. Things weren't quite back to normal, though. It's been 45 years now, but there's still quite a bit of dust and ash in the air. That's what you're seeing. You know why a sunset's red? Well, this is the same thing. Blue and green light have short wavelengths, and they scatter when they run into debris in the air. Red light, on the other hand, has a longer wavelength, which means it'll get a lot farther when the air's dirty. So there you are. The Earth looks red because that's the only color of light that can make it through the atmosphere. All right, so why put that book in there then? That book, that book is, was put there just so when we came out here on the other timeline, we'd be like, oh my God, we're on Earth and it's the eclipse. Okay, cool. But like that has nothing to do with the experiment. That's just, that's just fuck you, player. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it is a sick prank. That's just, <laughs> that's just the Kane and Zero just fucking with you. Like... <laughs> I was speechless. What could I possibly say? There was no reason for Temyoji to lie to us. So we were standing on the moon, looking at the Earth. It was 2074. But why? Why were we there? Why were we? Why were we then? Well, I'm guessing this is the only place they can do this experiment because otherwise, you would be the Radical Six wouldn't work. I was so lost in thought, I barely noticed Fi's approach. Hey, Sigma. I think I figured something out. Oh, is it that we're on the moon? A window popped up in the inside of my helmet with whisper in the corner. She seemed to be using a circuit only we could hear. Yeah? What is I it? I figured out why there's an extra E. Because of a con E? An extra E? Oh, you mean in the graffiti? Yeah, the one on floor B. I think it's an anagram. Just like on floor A. What's Anna say this time? God damn it, Sigma. Knock it off! Why are you whispering? Just tell everyone. Memento mori if the ninth lion ate the sun. If you rearrange the letters, you get... The man on the moon rules the infinite time. Okay. See? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You need six E's to get that. All right, cool. So they stuck an extra one in ninth. All right, very, very, very cool. The man on the moon rules the infinite time. I hmm. think it's a message for us from Zero Senior and Akane. Okay. Remember what she was telling us? All right. We created the AB project for one purpose. It's kind of a plot hole that you didn't figure that out immediately. To transport the consciousnesses of two people into the past. Those two people are you, Sigma. So, um, what are you getting at? My God, you're slow. You don't get it? They're saying we rule the infinite time. Infinite time. They weren't just talking about having us jump a couple hours. I think they're planning to send us back. Way back. He's gonna send you back to the past. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you saying you think they're gonna send us back 45 yeah. years? Yeah. I The project is to send us back in time to that catastrophe Tamioji was talking about. I think so. That doesn't make sense, though. I mean, we came from the same time period before it actually... Just <laughs> imagine the people in, like, the, the the moon station over on the side here that are monitoring this, because obviously there, there's a... The, who built the bait? Like, there have to be, like, people involved in this, you know, listening to these communications right now, and they're just like, oh my god, <laughs> this, is, this is so hard to follow and take seriously. <laughs> they're just talking so slow. <laughs> These are the saviors of, of mankind. <laughs> and you just hear them go, I mean, we came from that same time period. Oh, God, I hope they're going to more back. Oh, my God, this is our, these people are our only hope. I figured out the anagram before. <laughs> so why are we just here and send us back? <laughs> well, Akane should be able to tell us the rest. Let's go pay her a visit. <laughs> Do you know what she is? I've got an idea. Come on, think. Remember what she said when she gave you the key? Are we gonna morph back? To free ego heiress. 
The grave, the one in the garden. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Wait, we can go back in? We turned and ran back into the pressure exchange chamber for the others to follow close behind. Well, why don't we just morb? It's faster. What? What are you doing? Did you forget something? Dio, we're going to have to talk. We're going to go have a talk with somebody. Who? Oh. You really need me to spell it out? The person behind you all this. Mean the what? I'll take that as yes. Let me accompany you then. Oh, have you just been pretending to have amnesia this whole time? Wait, why do you know about Akane? I'll tell you when we get there. Now, if you please. I'm coming with you. You folks just said the magic word. I'm going to then. So am I. No. Hey, um, is this Akane you're talking about? Yeah, you know her real well. Wait, you... you're not... you're serious? What the hell is going on? Actually, I'm jumpy. Ah, uh, shut up. Just shut up. Come if you want to. We don't need to do a roll call. Once we get there, Akane can explain everything. Wait, we can actually just get back in? What? I didn't know that was allowed. With that, we headed back through the airlock. And they wouldn't let us back in. Oh my god, we have to morb. No, there's, a, there's another way in. Just go through the vents or whatever. Dio got it. Dio got in with the doors open, the elevator gone, with a big signpost saying, Come on in, Dio, we're expecting you. And he's like, Oh, well, uh, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't they be? Yeah, sure, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong here. Time to kill someone, take a bracelet on, pretend that I'm a part of the game, even though they've rolled out the red fucking carpet. Go into the fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fu I'm, oh, I'm fucking Dio. They know my name. I'm on the itinerary. The bunny is saying my name. I'm just a part of this. Huh? Seems legit. Like, yeah, like. Huh, wait, we can just get back in? What? Like. The number nine door on floor A is shut forever once the game ends. Ah, but the one on floor B... Assuming Zero Jr. was telling the truth, of course. But the door on floor B... Yeah. Thought we might be able to take the lift to it. And it looks like I was right. Okay, makes sense. Any idea where Akane might be? So it only opens from this side, I'm guessing. Yeah, the, the grave. You mean the grave in the garden? So any anyone could have just come back and let everyone else out. Alright, cool. Yeah, don't worry. I don't think she's buried there or anything. <laughs> Chances are she's like that makes sense though because the game is fake. It's it like it's only supposed to give the impression of of um of danger and everything. But at the same time, if you didn't morb out at the ends, then anyone could have done that. Like on multiple endings, like they didn't look around or anything like that. Like uh eh. That's kind of contrived, but whatever. <laughs> Chances are she's alive just in the grave. Anyway, let's move to the garden. To the casino! You still get penalized if you leave. False, no one has ever tried to leave without the points. I'm pretty sure you can just walk through and nothing bad will happen to you. If not, aluminum foil. Is... is Akane really under here? I think so. What should we do? Are we gonna dig her out? No, no, I don't think we'll have to do anything like that. You see the keyhole in the grave? If I just... insert this here... Okay, we're, we're sus as hell now. I pulled the key off my ankle and fit it into the hole. I twisted it to the right until I heard something unlock. To the right, really? With a quiet grinding, the grave began to shift. Stairs. No treatment pod. What is this? Wait, she she couldn't wait an hour? She's just like, fuck it, I'm going in the treatment pod? Okay. It doesn't look like a coffin. Yeah, it's a treatment pod. Oh my god. How did you not feel a key slap in your ankle? Like... Like, you have a, a pretty exposed bone down there, too, slapping against that thing. Like, you'd be like, what the fuck is that? Like, okay. Oh. It is, isn't it? The glass on the cover had frosted over, making it opaque. We couldn't see who, who or what was in it. Let's see what's inside. Okay. She grabbed a hold of the lever on the side of the pod. No good. I think it's locked. Oh, number zero. <laughs> what? Treatment pod. T P 
Zero, zero. Stage one, defrosting complete. Oh, not only that, she couldn't wait. She had to freeze herself as well. Okay. Stage two will be complete in ten minutes. Oh, is it going to be young Akane? Once stage two is complete, the lock will automatically disengage. It's going to open up. And it's gonna be young, young Akane. She's gonna open her eyes and she's gonna look at Jumpy and be like, Oh, Jumpy, did you know? <laughs> right, cold sleep. What? These pods can put people into cold sleep. He uses something called CAS to freeze human bodies without destroying their cells. So, Ms. Akane's like an ice cube? Then we gotta wait till she melts? Yeah. So how about you tell us your story while we wait, Kay? Oh, uh, hopefully it's the mummy. Specifically, why do you know Akane? I remembered. She's my mom. What do you remember? Everything. Everything. I was born and raised in this facility. It's called Rhizome 9. A rhizome is an underground plant stem that spreads by sending out roots. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? No. This facility is a little like a rhizome. Okay. Supposedly, that's why they call these installations that. The number comes from the facility's number. There are 54 rhizomes on the moon. And this is the ninth one. Whoa, really? Well, I suppose the other ones don't really matter to you, do they? In any event, I grew up here with Akane and Zero Senior. Who's you, by the way, Sigma? I watched them create the AB Project. The AB Project? Yes. Its purpose is to send Phi and Sigma, or their consciousnesses at least, to the past. <laughs> Back 45 years, right? Yes. So, you want us to change history, huh? Go back and keep Radical 6 from getting out, and stop the reactors from exploding. That's our mission? Well, not exactly. What do you mean? I didn't say that. It's true that the ultimate goal of the project is to keep Radical 6 from spreading to the general population. But even if you do make it back, you won't be able to do much. By now, it's already too late. Too late? What do you mean? Let me begin at the beginning. Okay. You might be thinking that Zero Senior and Akane were the ones who created all this. That's false. But that's not entirely correct. Okay. They only followed the histories they'd already seen. Okay, so it was them, just different versions of it them. It was the only choice they had. Alright. Nothing less than the future of mankind is at stake. That's just them with extra steps. We need the two of you to jump through timelines while maintaining your memories. That is why you had to play the AB game, and why the chromatic doors were necessary. By forcing multiple options, you could make numerous jumps. We speculated that jumping more would strengthen your memories. The puzzles were also there for a purpose. Dude, there had to be a better way to do it than this. Some theories hold that a moment of insight when you solve a puzzle strengthens your connection to the fourth dimension. That was the reason for the puzzles. Your infection with Radical Six was also a vital part of our plan. By slowing down your brain's processing speed, we can store your potential. With that energy stored up, we just had to provide a life-or-death situation to launch your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Like in the first game, it made sense because they were insane and they had already made the the, the the nonary game and they were just repeating that in order to match what they had done before. And also, they didn't really know what they were doing and they were just kind of matching the rat in the cage kind of thing. But here, come on, they had like fucking like 50 years. They, and, and they were like, oh, well, we don't know. We have to just, the only thing that works like a bullet from a slingshot. Yep. Wait, hold on just a minute here. You keep talking about Sigma and Phi, but what about the rest of us? Why did you bring us here? That's simple. In earlier histories, you were all here in Rhizome 9. <gasps> we needed you here to accurately replicate those histories. Although I suppose that's probably not a good enough explanation for you. That's just just because, Lamayo. Well, why were they in those histories? In a sense, though, it is the truth. Our primary goal was to replicate history. The rest is... We have always been at war with Eurasia, or whatever it was. Yes. I suppose I should explain. Okay, here we go. Very well. I will try and do so in a way you can understand. Very well. First, Alice and Clover. They were abducted 45 years and one month ago, on December 22nd, 2028. The location is Earth, of course. More specifically, Los Angeles, California. Correct? Yes. 
Yeah. After being kidnapped, your bodies were sent to a facility under Akane's direction. <laughs> Lol, you thought you were important. Get fucked, Ale. You were placed in treatment pods and immediately put into cold sleep. Yeah, all right. Four months later, you arrived at this facility. The date you finally arrived was April 14th, 2029. And we just kept you here the whole time. Your trip from Earth to this facility was aboard a spaceship powered by an annihilation engine. Following your arrival, your pods were placed in long-term storage. Effectively killing every single person you've ever known and loved. Sorry, it was necessary. Does that make sense? Are you telling me we were sleeping in those pods here for 45 years? Yes. Yeah, you're now um, 80 years old. Sorry. In preparation for this day. But why? What do you need us for? Turns out you can drink after all. You are an Esper, aren't you, Clover? I mean that you are able to access the fourth dimension. Am I wrong? Did Akane tell you? In a manner of speaking. As I've already explained, the purpose of this project is to send Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the past. Espers are able to sort of resonate with one another, which can amplify their power. You understand? This is why we brought you here, Clover. What about me? Okay, but she doesn't work, so... And neither did Jumpy! Why weren't they morbing? Did you give them, like, a... Morb suppressant drug? We needed your help, Alice, to deactivate Dio's bombs. Huh? But I didn't do anything. But you did. In another history, you were able to perform a prime decomposition on the 25-digit integer that Dio left behind. Yeah, and she did it in, like, a second, which means that anyone else could have done it with, you know, a calculator in an hour. Like, she was not necessary at all. Only you could do that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Because of your feat of mathematics, we were about to determine that Dio had planted the bombs. Then we were able to question him and get the password for the number 31. Finally, we used that information to stop the bomb in this timeline. Without your help, Alice, we would have been reduced to nothing more than so much space dust. This history exists because of your presence. Convenient amnesia reversal here. Now, let me explain why we needed Ten Miyoji and Quark. Ten Miyoji is simple. We needed you for the same reason we needed Clover. You are able to access the fourth dimension. Almost half a century ago, you used that ability to save a young girl, didn't you? Yeah, I did. We needed you to resonate with Sigma and Phi, so we brought you here. All it took was a messenger. Do you want to see Akane? If you do, come with me. I was a fool and fell for it. Man, they did jumpy dirty, huh? That's not cool. And you brought Quark with you. In fact, you insisted that he come. Yeah, I know. I guess you were worried about leaving me alone, huh? He doesn't even get his, no, that is not Solid Snake moment. Like, wow, they did him dirty. He kept saying he couldn't run off to the moon and leave me behind. I'm sorry, Quark. If I hadn't been so stupid and selfish, none of this would have happened to you. I never thought this would happen. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, don't worry about it. No, that is not Big Chungus. I mean, I agreed to come with you. I thought the moon would be way more interesting than boring old Earth. What kid would turn that down? True, We didn't true. see the messenger after we got on the ship. So, hold on. If I missed it, I'm sorry. But So, he was told that he had to shut up too, and he did, Lamayo? Like, wow. That's a lot of trust to put in a kid. It was on autopilot. As during the trip, Zero told me to keep quiet once we got there. Okay. I don't remember anything after we landed. Then there was a bunch of that white smoke, and we passed out. And when I woke up, I was in the AB room. I do own an air fryer, actually. No. Dio. Yep. His real name is Left, and he's the leader of a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. Well, one of them. He was ordered to come here. The Myrmidons are under the control of an organization called Free the Soul, which is in turn controlled by a man known as Brother. So, all of the clones are based on a guy named Left, and all of the clones of Left are also called Left? That's kind of confusing. It was Brother who orchestrated the release of Radical Six into the general population 45 years ago. Do you remember what Phi mentioned earlier? He's named Brother because he's Clover's brother. 
oh, oh, smile. The ultimate purpose of the AB project is to change history and keep Radical Six from being released. If we succeed, that would be bad for Brother and his organization. Our success would prevent them from creating the ideal world they're working toward. That is why Brother sent Left, his trusted lieutenant, to this facility. They needed to stop the AB project. So, Dio was given two tasks. The first was to eliminate Akane, the architect of the AB project. Why not make Jumpy jump back and and um, stop Radical Six? He can jump back even further than, than Sigma and Phi, I'm guessing. The second was to join the AB game and win it. If Dio won the game, the AB project would not be completed, at least not in that timeline. In other words, in that world, the project would have been stopped. If you're, if you can morb well enough to morb back so many years to know that you need to preemptively kidnap Alice and, and Clover, why don't you morb back and kidnap way older people at that time that you know that, that you figure out could resonate through further morbing that can morb even further back to actually properly stop Radical Six? If things didn't go as planned, Dio was given a contingency plan. If you cannot murder Akane and win the game, destroy Rhizome 9. Hence, the bombs. Can I ask you something? Perhaps. How did Brother know about the AB project? He was also an Esper. What? Is it really... Is it really Snake? Bombs on the inside... No! He plants the bombs in the other one! He does! Like, this is this isn't even up for debate. It, he it's a mistake then in in the fucking writing. He absolutely does. He does. Chat. This is fucking inarguable. We can set brother aside for now, though. May I proceed? No one objected. We were all curious. Excellent. That explains everyone, save two. Luna, and myself. Sigma and Phi already know the truth about Luna. I don't believe I should reveal any more, however. I think it would be more appropriate if you could ask Luna yourselves, at a later time. Would that be alright with you, Luna? Yes, that's okay. As for me, as I said before, I was born and raised here. The rest of you were brought to this facility, but I've never left. Chat, he... She says, what's the password deactivation for the zero bomb? And he doesn't say anything like... There is no zero bomb, I didn't plant the bomb, or blah blah blah, or anything to do with that. He just says, why does that matter or whatever, or it doesn't matter anymore, okay? Like, he wouldn't... They wouldn't even be armed. He wouldn't say shit like that. He would be like, it's fucking stupid. Bro, he says it is. I just said that.
one more time. What is the password for the number zero bomb? Oh, did we go too far? The bomb. God damn it! Didn't I tell you to shut up? Now, tell me what's the password. She swung the rock down toward Dio's head. Wait! Okay, okay. Fine. It's not gonna do you any good, though. Okay. I completed my mission. What are you gonna do with the password at this point? How is this not? The bombs are already there. Who gives a shit? Not your problem. You can't get back Excuse in and disarm me. them. Otherwise. There's no... I don't... I didn't plant them. It doesn't matter. What the fuck are you talking about? Fine. No skin off my back. The password for the zero bomb is L-X-A-Q-N-S. You heard that, right? Sig the password... There we go. Get fucked, chat. Get fucked. Alright, let's quit. BTFO'd. There you go. Thank you. The rest of you brought to this facility, but I've never left. That makes me someone close to Zero Senior and Akane. How am I wrong, chat? What the fuck are you talking about? The way he's talking there is clearly the someone who has planted a bomb. If he hasn't planted the bombs, then the writing is a fucking disaster because that's not what he's saying. He's not saying, why do you need it? I didn't plant any bombs. There are no bombs. What bombs? What the fuck are you talking about? His words are clearly of someone who has planted a bomb and is like, doesn't matter anymore. What the fuck? wondering who is zero senior you've already met him sigma in another timeline bio dio be like i didn't even plant them kind of weird but okay here's the password that's not what he said if he did say that then that would be fine any other fucking human being in that in that position if they hadn't planted the bombs would be like what the fuck i didn't even plant them what bombs what the fuck are you talking about they didn't even go down it wouldn't be like okay okay i'll tell you the deactivation code yeah well i saw a hologram i still don't know who he is stage two is complete they talked about it before you were- Oh, okay, so any- it's- it's happened off screen. Okay, that just absolves everything then. Sorry, my bad. Zero, zero. Unlocking. Any problem I have with the story is just- they resolved it off screen and you just don't hear it. It looks like it's finished. Shall we open the pod? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All of us gather around the pod. The glass was still covered with frost, hiding the contents. Okay. Let's get started then. Ready? Fi laid her hand on the lever and looked around at us. I swallowed. <laughs> yeah, right. anytime. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. What, what? Suddenly my head was full of memories from other timelines. I'd seen something like this before. The warehouse of floor B. Did Akane and, and, and K switch places? The warehouse floor B in front of the white door. K was lying in front of me. I grabbed his mask and saw my own face. I never figured out who he really was. Why was there a man with my face underneath K's armor? It didn't make sense. After I'd seen him, I was injected with tubocurine and that was the end of that. But wait, if the person in the pod was the same person I'd seen on the floor in the warehouse, who was wearing Kay's armor? You finally noticed. Okay, so this is a voice synthesizer. Okay, so me thinking that the voices matched up with um, the older version of uh, of um, of Zero isn't right. Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. No, oh my yes, God, you're. Yes. I am. Okay. Why do this though? Akane Kurashiki. 
But why? It's... it's you. June, I, I mean, Akane, from... but you're old. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Or you, Junpei. J junpei Akane, long time no see. I could barely hear what they were saying. My mind was still reeling. It felt like all the air had been knocked out of me, and it was all I could do to not collapse right there, then and there. When? How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? No. Once you saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did, at least. I carried your bodies to the third AB room, and then took Dio's to the fifth. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. So by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. Why didn't you do that first so you had a better time carrying them? That was dumb. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Dio killed you, and then Luna took your body to the sixth room. You couldn't have been in Kay's no, armor. it was me. In this timeline, at least. In this one... I wasn't murdered by Dio. Okay, I'm trying to think of all the interactions we had with Kay in this timeline. Man, I can't remember any of those. Phi game over. Sigma game over. Alright. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. It's really not, though. Your actions in the future decided who would be inside the armor in the past. <laughs> what? No, that's nuts. All right, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved? What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. He's cute. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. Okay, so not convenient amnesia reversion. All right, that's good. Large doses of soporil can cause memory loss. I gave him a rather large dose. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. Hey, come on. What are you guys saying? Right here? Same face? Oh. <sighs> huh? Huh? Are you all right, Mr. Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? It didn't make any sense. Why didn't they recognize me? Sigma, your consciousness can jump through time. You can inhabit your body in the past or in the future. What does that mean? Don't you get it? You've jumped to the future from 45 years ago. I looked around frantically. A pond. I ran to it and threw myself down on my onto my knees. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. A cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, damn it. I struggled to take deep breaths, and slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond, looking for looking for my reflection. What? No, this can't be real. This face. It's your face, Dr. Sigma Climb. 
It's Clem. Although, to the you that's behind it now, it's your face 45 years from now. Zero. The mastermind of the AB project is you. What? No, that's not possible. That's bullshit. No. Never looked at a reflection. Never caught a glimpse of anything. Never looked at the rest of your body. That's why your arms are robots, so you wouldn't notice. No one ever said, what's that fucking thing on your eye? You never scratched your face or had an itch or felt something on your face or anything like that. Never touched it. Never did anything. Uh... It's the truth. Fighting it isn't going to do you any good. Okay, how did it happen? Please, doctor. I'm not a doctor. You will be. I'm a milkman. A pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. A total chad. You're lying. No, I'm not. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going to create him. So he remembered his dad and just told his own dad that story because his dad didn't remember. And he also told his... I, we told our son that we're a whiner when he wanted a mom. Did we also give Luna the, the bird in the cage? His Great. name is Kyle Klein. Kyle? Your clone. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. Fucking Kyle. 23 years ago, in the bio lab here in Rhizome 9, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and raised here, I was still pretending to be him. The gravity here is only one-sixth of Earth's. If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. So he really was raised in a suit? But you prepared for that. You gave him that armor ever since he was born. He's lived inside of it. My god, it really was a literal depiction of his childhood. He really was in a suit the whole time. It kept his muscles and bones strong. <sighs> he wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. He's been wearing it every day, all his life. But why would I... Why would future me create a clone? He was to be your spare. If something happened to you before the project began, he would take your place. I mentioned before that the AB projects A and B stood for after and before. That isn't all they mean, though. Okay, did we just take, like, the biggest dose of soparil ever to make us just forget the, the right amount of year? No, that was total amnesia for, for K. Why are our arms robotic? The A also means anima, and the B means body. Of course it does. Anima is another word for the soul or the consciousness. Body is, well, exactly what it says on the tin. The past consciousness will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. They switch. That was the chief goal of the project. Wait, so the future person goes into the past person? Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? You mean this, right? Yes. Ah... Of course, it was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. Yeah. Sigma, take a good look at this. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. A is where everything began. December 25th, 2028. You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. From there, you jumped to B. January 25th, 2074. 
You woke up in one of the AB rooms in Rhizome 9. Where the fuck is C then? You are in your own body, but it is 67 years old. Your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. The body you woke up in was much older. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. Okay, so now they're using that as a way to explain why he doesn't notice his body's different, but that doesn't apply to the rest of the characters? Like, what about everybody fucking else? Like, okay. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. This is like having your cake and fucking it too. Moving on. If you continue along this line, what happens next? You reach C, which that is Whoops. today. Okay. Well, these are close together. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? Yeah, you just haven't noticed because everything's moving really, really slowly. Yep. How many hours do you think it is? It's actually that times six or whatever. 36 hours to be exact. Uh-huh. Have you already forgotten? Okay, and we, we didn't need food. We didn't need to pee. We didn't need to shit. We didn't need to drink. Didn't need a bathroom. Nothing for 36 hours. You were all infected with Radical 6. Radical 6 actually slows down your kidneys as well. The virus slowed your brain down. Okay, what about the rest of me? So, yes. 36 hours of real time have passed. But to you... It only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now comes the important part. Okay. After this, your consciousness will return to the past. Is that why you're speaking so slowly? Because you're trying to mimic what, so we can understand you and it's hard? It will re-emerge at point D. April 13th. 2029 you will return to your younger body what's e but that's the same day as the reactor explosions yes yes you caused them that is why i said it will be too late you will return to the past but the events you would want to prevent will have already happened okay so, and that's when you become Dr. Climb. So instead, you, we're sending you back to E? The story does not end there, however. Uh, okay. The line continues. After reaching point D, you will eventually return to B. But this time, you won't be jumping through time, or at least not at a rate faster than normal. Your consciousness will spend 45 years inhabiting the same body until you reach point B. Do you remember when B is, Sigma? January 25th, 2074. According to what you just told us, it's 36 hours ago. Correct. That was when the consciousness of the 22-year-old Sigma jumped into the body of 67-year-old Sigma. So where did the older version of you go when you took his body? Point A, December 25th, 2028, the day all this started. Yes. His consciousness will go back in time 45 years. For a period of time, he will inhabit your younger body. While your younger consciousness is elsewhere, he will be you in the past. Okay, so E and C are about to switch then. Okay, so the timeline here from the original's perspective is I was living my life, had an affair with some politician, total Chad, in school, doing my homework, just had a breakup. Oh no, the gas. Boom. And then just like right up to here, right? Boom. And then I went through the nonary game, the nonary game, the nonary game, and then went up here, and then I jumped back to D, right? And then I lived my life, I continued living my life and made this game thing, and then from B, I jumped back again to A, 
and then I lived my life to E, and then I did something at E, and then E and C switch again, I guess? Maybe? But one- oh shit, did I skip that? For a period of time, you have to do a faster once the body reaches point D, my 22 year old conscience will come back to point C. That's correct. When that happens, the older version of you will be ejected from your younger body and return to your body at C. So it's rotating? Rotating? What about five? I suppose you could put it that way, but look at this illustration closely. What if you take all these lines and untangle them? You get one single line. Yeah, that's why I just it did, right? It may look complicated, but in truth, it's a single straight path. Um, well, no. With one exception. Okay, there we go. The line here, point exactly. E, right? Exactly. Point E is For December exactly. 31st, 2028. The day of the total eclipse. The day Radical 6 got out of the test facility. Yes. By now, you've likely figured it out on your own. The purpose of the AB project was to get the consciousness of the 67-year-old Sigma from point B to point A. If we can do that, we can change what happened 45 years ago. So the old version of me will keep Radical 6 from getting out by jumping into my 22-year-old body on New Year's Eve 2028? Yes. That is why this line could not be interrupted. All right. In order for the 67-year-old version of you to reach point B, we first have to go through point D. In order to get to point D, we must jump from point C. And for point C to happen, we had to recreate everything that happened in this facility. That is why we have faithfully retraced history up to this point so that we might save humankind from destruction. I mean, this time. And undo the horrors of the last 45 years. But then Jumpy and Quark. <laughs> Tell me one thing. What is that? What the fuck? You said that point C is January 27, 2074, which is today. There's going to be a jump, and I'll jump to April 13th, 2029. Yes, that's right. But look, I'm still old. When is this jump supposed to happen? Very soon. Yes. Soon? Yes. What's going to trigger it? We need potential energy stored to send your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Fortunately, we now have plenty of that. Yeah, everyone around you, just just kill them. Thanks, ironically, to Radical Six. All that remains is to launch your consciousness. Like a bullet from a slingshot. And how do you propose to do that? Didn't I tell you? A crisis. A moment balanced between life and death. Well, I hope it's not an escape room. That can Because I'm all puzzled out. Your brain. Jump start? What do you, you mean? You haven't figured it out. I mean this. <laughs> Pull out the golden gun. Hold it to her own head. No, Dio's knife. No sooner were the words out of my mouth. Fie. I screamed and left toward them. Akane was already in motion. The knife diving toward Fie's chest. I was almost there. When I regained consciousness, I was on the floor. There was a dull pain in my chest. Were these two banging, do you think? I felt for a, I felt for a cut, but something was in the way. It took me a moment to realize that it was Akane's body laying on top of me. I twisted my neck to look around. Nearby was an old tombstone. On it was written a few words in Latin. To Fio Ego Eris. What you are, I was. What I am, you will be. 
Do, 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 I'm starting to get the impression they're never going to explain why we have robo-arms. They will Joe God. Well, they never explained the mummy in the first game. We're a whole other game in and they still haven't explained the mummy in the first game. Except for Lamayo, there wasn't a mummy. Like, that's... Except there was a mummy, but they retconned it that no, it's actually not a mummy. It was just someone dressed like a mummy and also had the same name who was just in the same area and just happened to be there at the same time. Okay, maybe I can skip this. Who was brother? ZD, ZTD will break you. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. My, I, I'm going into ZT, C, ZTD with my expectations set at the exact right level, level for bullshit. I'm not expecting anything from ZTT but a crazy wacky time. And in fact, if it's not wacky, I'll be disappointed. Like, I'm expecting pure unadulterated bullshit from ZTD. And then, like, the crazier the better. I, it doesn't even make sense. I don't give a fuck. Like, after 999, I thought this might make sense and, and explain some things, but nah, nah, it's... Phasers are set for bullshit. Don't worry. A new destination has been added to the flowchart. Of course there is. Phi ending. Cool. Alright, now old lady ending. Time after time, which even unlocked. Just, we just keep going up, huh? We just keep going up. Alright, here we go. Headquarters, April 13th, 2029. Your brother. Today is April 13th, 2029. And this is the evening news. Unfortunately, I... There's no news. I'm sorry. I don't have any news to read. There we go, yep. All of our station's reporters have have passed after contracting Radical Six. And yet you're somehow still in the air, okay. So have my... Excuse me. I've managed to keep us on the air until now. But I'm out of tricks. It was really important. It's time for me to sign off. This concludes our broadcast day. I pray that someday our world can be cleansed of this horrible plague. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. For a moment, I just stared at the TV. The roar of the static seemed to fill the entire room until with a click it disappeared too. The sky is blue and so is Fi. Had the power gone out? I heard footsteps behind me and turned around. You. Oh, that's the brother symbol. Y your brother, Akane. It looks like the first step was successful. What the fuck? You killed me. Killed? I guess technically you're still going to kill. You're going to kill me 45 years from now. But hey. Still. No need to be rude about it. Uh, I didn't kill you. I hit you with the butt of the knife. You're fine. I don't believe you. I'm yes. okay. Yes. You and Fi needed to experience a state of crisis. Uh, that was the only way. Me and Fi. Yes. I only told you about you, but. 
We also needed Fi to jump. Is this an escape room? Now. You know what happens next, right? Why aren't you 3D? <laughs> um, we go to the moon. Correct. We will be leaving tomorrow, April 14th, 2029. And then you have to hit the book, Sigma. You have to become a, a world-famous, like, pushing-the-boundary genetic biochemist. Er, hop to it. Let's go. <claps> Better start reading on the rocket. We've nearly finished preparing your shuttle. Yep. Only a few last-minute checks and additions. Uh-huh. You'll be traveling to Rhizome 9, along with three treatment pods. Alice and Clover, right? Yes. Who's in the other one? What about the third one? Who's in the thin there? Fi. Fi Yay! We put her into cold sleep two days ago. Okay. She appeared at our headquarters and volunteered to be frozen. Is this the same voice actress? She sounds kind of different. That wasn't the Fi who jumped from point C, though. It was Fi before she jumped from point A to point D. In other words, she was following the same path you are. And she still is. <laughs> Then that means that after you froze her, the point C version of her jumped back into her yes. body? The point C version of Phi is sleeping in that pod. You can jump back to somebody who was sleeping in a pod? She'll stay there for the next 45 years. Oh, that sucks for her. Sleeping in ice. Ice baby. <laughs> then once she gets to point B, her consciousness will jump back will jump back to, jump to point A, right? Correct. Huh, so that's why she didn't look old. So why don't you just stick me in one of those pods? We can't do that. Why not? You haven't figured it out? You have to spend the next 45 years working on the AB project. Oh my god. After arriving at Rhizome 9, you must master genetic engineering and artificial <laughs> intelligence programming, among other disciplines. <laughs> Hit the book, Sigma! Otherwise, you will be unable to create Kyle, Luna, and Lagomorph. Akane, I was a liberal arts major! And, of course, you will need to develop the chromatic doors and the bracelets. You will also be the person who summons Tenmyoji and Quark. Once you've completed all the preparations, then the project can actually begin. Where's Santa? January 25th, 2074. You will defrost Phi and carry her to the third AB room. Once you've done that, the 22-year-old version of you from point A will force you out. Oh, is Santa brother? And that's like him doing his own evil thing and they disagree? And you'll just go back 45 years to your own body on December 25th, 2028. <laughs> and then I change history? Do you really think I can keep the virus from getting out? You have to. If you don't, billions of people will die. Only you and Fi can save them. What about you? Aren't you an Esper too? I can't do anything on my own. If this is going to work, I'll need your help. Oh, because you're a quantum ghost. You can't actually interact with anything apart from, like, people in the plot. <laughs> So, what do I need to do? What do you mean? Like, what specific actions do I need to take? I don't fucking know, Lameo. Figure it out. When Fi and I jump to point A, what are we going to do then? We'll both enter the Mars mission test site. The what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that? I don't know. What? I'm sorry. I really don't know anything about what happens in there. We don't know how the Radical Six escaped. We don't even know why it was there in the first place. I think I do. I think we're the ones who put it there. Uh, I think we're the ones who caused this. Oh crap, then we're screwed. That's why we need your help. We're gonna go back and Fi's gonna be like, Oh my god, we brought Radical Six. Like, oh no! Oh, roll credits. And then the, then the next game just doesn't deal with it. You have the ability to jump through time and across parallel worlds. We need you to figure out what happened in that test facility. Okay. Things will be difficult. And I'm sure you will find yourself in a great deal of danger. But I believe the two of you can overcome any obstacle. Wait. How do you know it's so dangerous? The 67-year-old version of you told me what happened. 
He wasn't able to stop the virus. Okay, then we're not going to be able to stop it either. Are you not paying attention? So I suppose you could say you told me after you failed. All right. Um, what did he, what did I say? But the test facility is full of traps. <laughs> I, I knew that you guys were going to build this space on the moon and, and do a fucking multi-jump time loop in order to send your consciousness back into this thing to stop Radical 6 from getting out. I knew that you were going to do all this, so I set all these traps ahead of time so you wouldn't be able to get in and stop this fucking Radical 6 from getting out of here. I knew it was all going to... <laughs> what do you mean? It's full of traps. How? There How was the... one point a woman's life was in danger. <laughs> what? You risked yourself for her sake. I lost your arms and your right eye. Oh, there we go. All right. My arms and my right eye. <laughs> he still didn't notice. What the fuck? You didn't notice that you were looking out of one eye? You didn't. You turned the TV off. I moved slowly to the window and peered outside. On the horizon, I could see a massive mushroom cloud climbing slowly toward the sky. Would I? Would we really be able to change the course of history? No, that was the wrong way to look at it. It couldn't be a question. I had to change history. We could save the world. I'm going to change history. I stared at the darkening skies above us and steeled myself. I would succeed. Okay, this sounds like credits. It's credits time. Da 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 da. Da 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 End or beginning. Fire and ice. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Alright. Where's the square? Alright, new place to jump to? New place to jump to. Oh my god. Alright. I guess this makes sense from jumping around. It's fine. Why are we back in here? Uh, actually, that makes sense. After we got knocked out, we come back here. Okay. Where? This just keeps getting worse and worse. I see you've finally woken up, Kyle. Kyle? Kyle? Ah, uh, yes. Of course. You've only just woken up in this timeline. It's only natural for some of your memories to be missing. I lurched upright, jumped off the bed, and ran around to the other side of the partition. The mirror over the sink was covered with film or dirt. I wiped it off with my sleeve and my reflection stared back. We could have done that the whole time? This is the stupidest game. There was no- How- How is this one of the most interesting structures of a video game I've ever seen? And uses the medium so well. And yet, it is just the stupidest- Stupidest fucking game when it comes to characters. Is that what Japanese games do well? Is that they're they're good at concepts and overarching kind of things, but when it comes to fucking characters, they just completely shit the bed. Just my god. There was no mistake flexion blog to climb. So I'm Dr. Climb? Zero seniors clone? How did I get here? What? How do you know that? Shouldn't you still be suffering from amnesia? An excellent question. When I didn't know, I know the answer to myself, I knew who Kyle Klim was. In another history, he had been called K and had worn a suit of armor. He hadn't just worn the armor that in that history, though. Apparently, he'd worn it all his life. Kyle had been born and raised in this lunar installation, which seemed to be called Rhizome 9. Rather late in his life, Akane had appeared as a mother figure, and he had consequently grown very attached to her. 
I knew everything about him, but even though I knew it, I didn't feel it. Was I really Kyle Clem? Every time I looked in the mirror, I saw his face. The spitting image of Sigma Clem in his younger days. I looked down. There was Dio, still handcuffed. I turned back around to Luna. What day is today? January 27th, 2074. And today is the last day of the AB project. Akane has explained everything in the garden. And she drew a knife and attacked Phi. How long have I been asleep? About five hours in real time. For them, it would have seemed like a little more than two hours. So they still haven't been treated for their Radical Six? No, they've all been given the antiviral. It just takes a while to have an effect. Uh, I see. So the consciousness of the younger Sigma has gone back into the past. It should have happened right after Akane attacked Phi, right? Yes. Why am I here? The doctor carried you back here. You were in the pod in the garden. So the person you call the doctor is Sigma Klein, as inhabited by his age-appropriate consciousness. You're all yelling not canon like I gives a single fuck. Like, not not even a single fuck do I give. Of course it's canon, it's in the game, it's canon. I don't, I don't, like, I give a single fuck. Like, no, of course. It's on the floor, it's right here. It's right here. Of course it's not canon, it's Kyle. Yes, but how do you know that? Dio seems to have remained unconscious. Yes, I've been administering Sulparil whenever he gets restless. Uh, okay, that's messed up. What about the others? They've all gone off to different areas. Tenmyoji and Quark, for instance. They went on a rocket back home. Oh, um... Right! Mr. Klein! So the sleepyhead's finally up, huh? What are you two doing here? You don't know where we are? This is the upper floor of the pressure exchange chamber. The real one. Mm-hmm. We were just about to get dressed and head out. You plan to return then? To Earth, I mean. Yeah. Sigma told us where we could find the shuttle that brought us here. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about Akane anymore, see ya. Well, guess he's not really the Sigma I knew anymore. He's Dr. Klein now, or, or Zero Senior, depending on how you look at it. Why? After they morphed, he got up and was like, Akane, were we successful? And she got tear in her eyes. Yes, yes we were. Oh my god, let's just have a gross makeout session in front of every single person. And Jumpy's just there crying. Yes, yes, we did it, we did it. Oh no, now we both have to morph. See you later. What do why? you mean, why? Um, well, I'm just curious why you would choose to return to a devastated planet when you could stay here. It's not that devastated. How's staying here gonna help? You aren't gonna say something idiotic about how we should wait here until Sigma changes the past, are you? You can't wait for something that's already happened. Grammar doesn't work that way. Okay. Hell, nature doesn't work that way. Okay. You following me? We've already lived through history. Sigma failed to keep the virus from getting out. About 45 years ago, Radical Six created a pandemic and the antimatter reactors blew up. That can't, all happened. Can't believe how dirty they did Jumpy Man. Whatever Sigma does in the past, history's not going to change. Well, not for you. In fact, it's because of what he did or didn't do in the past that we've got this past and present. Let me give you an example. Imagine a group of a hundred motorcycles driving down an endless freeway. Oh my fucking god. Eventually, they hit a junction. How about we go back in time and stop Akane from being saved and then this wouldn't all have happened. The road splits in two. One freeway continues off northwest, and the other stretches out to the northeast. So one guy, we'll call him S, pipes up. So one guy. Let's go northwest, he says. So they take the northwestern road. But about a mile past the intersection, something horrible happens. A semi driving the other way veers into their lane and plows through the bikers. A semi? Ninety of them die. The surviving ten are wounded, but survive. They don't stop, though. They keep riding down that highway, and eventually, they'd gone 10,000 miles. What is this? Then suddenly, something happens that they couldn't have predicted. What? They run out of gas? Like, what is this? S, who had survived, suddenly has his consciousness thrown back in time. <laughs> he ends up back in his own body, just before they reach the junction. He remembers everything. So what does S do? What anybody would do. Let's go northeast. 
That means all 100 of the bikers survive to reach their destination happy and healthy. And they all live happily ever after. That's what you're thinking, right? It's a great outcome for the 100 bikers that went northeast. But what about the 10 that went northwest and survived the accident? Huh? Wouldn't it be nine people? I mean, S's mind went back in time, right? Uh, right. Okay, nine people then. No. What happens to the reality they were living? Does it just disappear when S changes the past? It's not as if it was only bad things that happened during that 10,000 mile trip. Maybe one of them fell in love with a woman working at a gas station they stopped at and had a child. Or, you know, found a, a kid and became a grandfather. Maybe one of them picked up a homeless kid who joined them on their adventure. Oh, the shade. That 10,000 mile journey would be full of stories. Friendships, farewells, romances. The loss of those 90 lives is horrible and unfortunate. But what would rewriting their history mean? The nine who survived lived full lives. How can it be right to just erase all that? The survivors overcame their own misery and loss and made the best they could of the hand they'd been dealt. Isn't that worth something? Isn't that the best thing that humans can aspire to? Is there really any point to a world where everything is happy? Are people who struggle for a better life just idiots? Being human is about fighting even when it seems hopeless and finding happiness even in a world that hates it. Are you saying that's worthless? If you're saying rewriting the past will erase all these other timelines, then whatever God wrote those rules can f <sighs> Look, I'm just not going to accept that, all right? This is pretty based. You get it? If Sigma changes the past, then you and Quark will never meet. I is he right? No, <laughs> it's not going to happen. We're here right now. This is reality. All right, let's go home and salvage an air fryer. Even if Sigma does change the past, we're not just gonna disappear or something. Oh, then that means we get to stay together? <sighs> Good. Thanks, kid. I understand how you feel. Why you want to return to Earth is clear. You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. But we were lying. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? Well, no point saying anything to Dio. Besides, he's asleep. You were asleep too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. You have a point. Akane was in the armor in this timeline, after all. What about Sigma? Well, he's not really Mr. Sigma anymore. Of course. He is Dr. Klein now that his consciousness has returned. Yeah, but more importantly, he's the guy who brought us all here. Not a lot of warm feelings there, you know? And Akane? Never mind her. She's just like him. Not the Akane I knew. She must have seen some pretty awful things over the years. Hell, she might not even be human anymore. But the Akane Kurashiki I know isn't here. She's not anywhere. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Yeah, just here to fill a spot. Yep, how does it feel? Get fucked to worse characters. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Yep. Still, it's not like we're completely resentful. Uh, you should be, though. We had to be here to help change the past. I'm resentful that we have to put up with you. That part's easy to understand, but... Kinda sucks, though. Uh, yeah, everyone you know is dead and... Uh, yeah, I know, and this is your response. Okay. I mean, Sigma and Bai have it easy. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. Uh, I wouldn't say anyone has it easy here, but they're the ones that did this, so this is kind of fucked up. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? The one with the motorcycles? <laughs> it would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. <laughs> then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. <sighs> we know why we had to be here. Kyle's, Kyle's going to be sleeping later and he's going to be thinking about the motor, motorcycle story. Damn, what a good story. Let me write it out. Hangs a picture of a motorcycle over his bed. 
looks at it longingly. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the Northwest. We're stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Smile. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah. It's a little bit much. Yeah. That's why they chose the two of you to be the the victims, though, because you're two of the worst people that have ever existed. So it's kind of like if we're going to do this to someone, at least it's to Alice and Clover. So we went and talked to the old lady. She told us that there is one way. One way we could get back to the past. Let's say you do go back to the past. Oh, yeah, we can talk now. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Not again. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? Actual time travel. From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. Then why aren't they just doing that? What the fuck? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? We couldn't. We'd have to kill ourselves back then, and we're going to do it, too. Fuck that Alice. Alice goes back in time, stabs herself, and then dabs and goes and says, Get fucked, Alice! <laughs> but that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. How on earth does she plan to do that? Schrodinger's cat. You guys are going to ride a cat? Oh, okay, that's oh, it. Oh, hey, Kyle. Right. Figured you'd come here eventually. How are you? What? Oh, wait, you're, you've are you morphed from somewhere else, right? Where's Dr. Klein? Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sh sure. Glad to see you. There isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. I'd love to answer all your questions, but unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. This guy's voice is awesome, isn't it? Seriously, just an awesome, awesome voice. I hope you can forgive me. Everything I know, Phi should also know. I have instructed her to answer any questions anyone might have. Anyone other than Kyle, that is. What does he mean, other than Kyle? He just doesn't like you. Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Because, you know, no. Oh, right, well, I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Fi? Can't tell you. I'm not Superman, that's for sure. And I'm not Batman, or Spider-Man, or Aquaman, or a Merman, or a Wolfman. What about Iron Man? I'm not a Brahmin, or Common, or Ramen. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Please don't dodge the question. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something, which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D. April 13th, 2029. Yeah, you know how your uh, doctor climbs double? I'm actually Akane's double, and we just dyed my hair and made me look different through, like, robotic whatever surgery. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. Mm-hmm. Although by then, you were in cold sleep. You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. But to you... You slept there, frozen until the time was ripe. Then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out, even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AB room. Yeah, we know. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out and sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, 
whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. And he saved you, losing his arms and eye in the process. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars mission test facility. Unfortunately, your plan failed. Okay, at least on this timeline it failed, or did it not, and you're just saying that. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Yeah, it was between stopping Radical Six or saving me, and he chose saving me because he's an idiot. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. She asks? Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places, and you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you, only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about, you got right. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of... X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. And I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Yeah, it's true. I know that, yep. Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. I, I say this all the time myself, yep. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. You know, that's how they understood it back when the, when this game was published, but, you know, we've come a long way since then, and we understand it a little bit more than this, but, you know, for the time that this came out, yeah, this is about right. Since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1 plus V2. This is specifically what has changed since then, yeah. You see what I'm saying? In most situations, it works, even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. So is that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because... it would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. Yeah, and we're stuck on this one. Okay, so there's two different... Yeah, that, that makes sense, yeah. Just, just like in the same way that every single time that we, that we morbed, there's a different version that kept going, right? Yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. There would always have to be this like leftover splinter line that has to deal with the fact that this is just how it is. So, in reality, this was all completely pointless. Oh well. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. No. You understand? I don't. No, it, it wouldn't, though. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then where the hell did you learn all this stuff? I just listened to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. You were sleeping in the pod in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. I shall give you your answer. Oh, that was it. Okay. You are not Kyle Klein. <gasps> your body is Kyle's, but your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle? 
Oh my god, what part of us is a robot now? Or could you be someone else entirely? Then where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th. 2028. Okay, well, there was no Kyle Klim body back then, so now we're doing full on consciousness swap or like. What? His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. All right. I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He doesn't, though. He raised him on his own. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past and leave Kyle behind here? I know what I told the others, that Kyle was Dr. Klein's spare. But it turns out that Dr. Klein is actually Kyle's but spare. that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new its purpose Whoops. will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. This new mission begins on Christmas and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely necessary. And that is why he created him? Yes. So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Kyle has gone back to 2028 to participate in his mission. Yeah, which also happens to be a nonary game. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. Yeah, we sent one back in time. We, we were capable of time traveling in a physical sense. So what we did was we sent a... We sent a body back in time there through the time travel portal, and then you're going to conscious jump back to it. Okay. And then Larry holds up his hand. Well, why don't they just go back in time through the portal with the body that has the consciousness in it? Shut up, Larry. We're doing the empty body with the fucking consciousness jump back to it. Okay? Like, shut the fuck up. That's what, that's what we're doing. Does that mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. That's ridiculous. Well, what's going to happen to me? He went further back in time and set up a clone vat, and that clone vat just came to, like, you know, fully grown at that time. And he went in and he smashed the clone vat that he had moored back to do. So we're, so now that he's put that clone vat in there, now you moored back and now we're ready to go. But why didn't he just, like, when he set up the clone vat, why didn't he just stop Radical Six and get, no, 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 we have to do the clone thing. You're telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box, living in a borrowed body? No, not at all. She pulls out a gun and kills him. You can travel freely through time and space. I don't think I can, nope. You are an uncontrolled variable that entered our closed system. Oh, we're, we're fine. As such, the rules of this world do not apply to you. All right. Uh, I have no idea what... Please don't try to play dumb. I know what you are. Oh, where it's the player. Oh, okay. Surely you must know by now. Too. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. You are about to go into the past and save the world. Phi and Sigma, even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. And prevent forest fires. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Don't you want to know the truth? Then buy the next game! Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's <laughs> Eve in 2028? <laughs> So specific! So specific! Well, yes, I do, but... Then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If observation can change the motion of a particle, then how is it odd to think that human thought can shape reality? Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine.
Remember what I've told you. Only you can change history. Only you can save the world. Alternative end, you found it. A certain point of view. Achievements unlocked. Okay. Wait, that's it? This is where you play the AB game. It appears to be an elevator car. There are six AB rooms. That, okay, we know this already. This refers to the door of the AB room. Yeah, we know this already. Each person has a bracelet. Yeah, 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 yeah. AI is short for artificial insemination, which is processed with... The, okay, yeah. The words 03 says before he leaves. There are a few variations. Have a nice trick. Have a nice trap. Have a nice trader. A device built by Tom Kwan, a Boyce, Idaho computer. Co sorry, commuter. That's actually a lie! A quantum computer is a highly advanced machine that, oh, for fuck's sake, that uses quantum phenomena such as superposition and entanglement to perform calculations. Let's say, for example, that you want to determine the prime factors of 5183. A Newman-style computer, let's call him Paul, would say, hmm, can I divide it by 235 and just run through numbers like that until it got the answer? Mr. Quan, on the other hand, the computer, not the imaginary commuter, would, ju would just look at 5183 and say, obviously, it's 71 times 73. A traditional computer with n bits can only be in one of two... To the, to the power of n states at once, but a quantum computer with n qubits can be um, up to two to the power of n states simultaneously. This means a quantum computer can complete calculations that are currently impossible. That's amazing, Mr. Quan. Are you seeing anybody? Someone has written two Milkman Go comedy on the wall in the warehouse in floor A. Presumably refers to a pair of Milkman visiting a comedy club. The sentence construction, however, is obviously wrong. There must be a reason why. It's a deadly game that the nine people have been forced to play. The official name is Nonary Game, Ambidex Edition. It's a part of the Nonary Game. The participants must also, must also play. Okay, I'm getting bored. What is the purpose of the nonary game? Okay, key, okay. Here are a few more rules for you. Once you've opened the door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic, okay, we know that one already. In addition to a number, each bracelet will say solo or pair. Each color will have three, three bracelets. Okay, bracelet points. Where A, all right. Yeah, one of the drugs used by, nonary bra by the nonary bracelet bracelets and an extremely powerful anesthetic. First drug. The drug also appeared in Virtue's Last Reward Sister Title, Nine Hours, Nine Per- Oh, this is Breaking the Fourth Wall. It was created by Mr. H, who was the president of Cradle Pharmaceuticals and appeared in 999. All right. One of the drugs used by Nonary brace Bracelets. Okay, Muscle Relaxant. Okay, is there anything good? Oh. Is there anything good at all? Okay, Radical Six, a powerful virus worldwide. Okay, so th that does nothing. All right. Grandpa videos, a collection of films that Tamioji has gathered. Their content isn't really explicit per se, but they still aren't really appropriate for someone with Quark's age. It should be noted that the term does not apply, to, does not imply the videos contain grandpas or grandpa-like actors. Nice. Stands for erotic units. EU is a system developed to measure a combination of physical, emotional, and situational attractiveness. It ranges from zero to twenty, where twenty might be Marilyn Monroe and zero might be Gilbert Gottfried. What the fuck? Flip these for the for the curious. Danny Trees Tre Trejo rates sixteen EU. Just being sexy does not guarantee a high EU rating. Not to be confused with competing systems of hotness or sexability, the EU system weighs a number of factors such as practical practical. Practicality, sustainability, emotional investment, and the bias of the observer. Women with a high EU rating have usually mastered the art of the tease. All right, Sigma's cat problem. Wait, why? Why do we have the cat problem? Sigma has a strange verbal and possibly psychological tick, which causes him to make cat puns whenever he talks about cats. The cause of this behavior seems to be an experience he had. As, ha, he had. 
experience he had a child. When Sigma was in preschool, there was a d deserted house near his school that everyone called the Cat Mansion. He'd always loved cats, so every day he would visit the Cat Mansion and give the cats that lived there some of his lunch. One day he realized that he could understand what the cats were saying to one another. A magical black cat appeared and told him that it had given him this gift in exchange for giving food to its fellows, but the magical cat said, you can never tell anyone about your gift. The magical black cat warned, if you do, you'll be cursed. But young Sigma was so happy about his newfound ability that he slipped and told the girl about it, so the black cat cursed him. His curse was to only speak in cat puns for the rest of his life. Fortunately for him, a magical white cat came along soon afterward, felt the curse was a little too harsh and lessened it, so that he would only talk in cat puns when he talked about cats and they lived happily after. Okay, alright, I'm done. I'm not reading anymore. I'm done. I'm literally done. Alright. So, this game fucking sucks. Can I change the size of the screen? No? I cannot change the size of the screen. Is there a launcher I have to launch the size of the screen? Is this good enough for right now? It's good enough for a preview. Here you go. New game. Go inside. Nevada Desert. DCOM. Hey, open up. Who would do this? Shit. What's wrong with you? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, well, that's enough for me. All right, so, um... I don't know if there's ever been a game on on that we've that we streamed or um, that I've played in general actually that has started out so interesting and I was so in and then has nosedived so hard at the end that, like, I think that it's a complete waste of fucking time. That... This was really bad. This was really, 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 really below Xenoblade Chronicles 2 bad, okay? This was really bad. Really bad. I can't believe how bad it was. Like, I'm not even going to take ZTD seriously at all. Like, I want it to be a crazy, wacky, bonkers time, and I'll be disappointed if it's not. Like, I want someone halfway to realize that they're secretly a fish. I, I want it to be said at realize at some point that everyone's been taking Radical Six except for one person, and they've just pretending that they've been having it the whole time and acting slow. And in reality, they can just move way faster than everyone else, and they've just been doing shit behind everyone's back because like that that's they've just been faking having it the whole time. Okay, like that that's how fucking crazy I want it to be. All right, like I I want there to be a, a time traveling rabbit that is actually a rabbit. It's not someone in a rabbit suit. It's not a robot suit the robot ai in a rabbit suit it's actually a rabbit that's been granted intelligence that can time travel not a, not a full bunny i mean an actual like little rabbit that will that could like sit in a cage you know like i want it to be completely nuts all right i want a tidal wave to come into the desert at one point and then sigma just appears wearing a robe and parts his hands like moses and the water just goes around the whole mars facility and it's never explained and i'll be like i don't give a fuck all right that's that's what I wanted to be. All right, that's uh, that's what I'm going in for. I can't believe how bad this turned out to be. This was awful. If it had ended well, it would have been like. I don't know, like, I, a, a favorite. I don't know where all my rankings of favorites. I have a lot of favorites. It would be a favorite. It, it would be a standout, let's put it that way, a standout game. I would be like, wow, this was cool. This was really experimental. It did some really cool things. I, I like it a lot. That was neat. I can, see, I can see a banner of the characters in Zero Time Dilemma, and, like, some of them just look like they're the same person. Was it's just like like nice Sigma and evil Sigma like side by side on either side of this like uh, Luna the younger years person like who who the fuck are these two like are there twins like this was terrible. 
actually awful. So the destination is more important than the journey. For me, yes, actually. I'm I'm very, very big on endings. I like endings. I like conclusions. The journey is important too, don't get me wrong. It's not like you you can have both. You can enjoy both. But for me, I prefer conclusions. I like I like the climax of things, you know? Like in almost everything. In stories, gameplay, music. Just I, I like it when everything builds to a big, big, big moment. I also like like the building part can also be great, you know, and that just can add to it and makes it better. But to me, like the the thing that it leads to has to also justify everything that came before. And this was just fucking terrible. I can't believe it ended up just being an ad for for the next game too. When did they come out? Zero, sorry, VLR. Oh, fuck. Uh, zero escape. Got you. No one in chat said it. No one in chat said it this time. VLR. Okay, so that came out in February 16th, 2012. And the next one came out in like 2019, right? ZDT. 24 years? You had to wait four years for the conclusion of that. A whole Witcher 3 production video. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Are they making another one? It was cancelled and resumed. They should have just kept it cancelled. They should have just kept it cancelled. It was originally cancelled and took a pretty major fan petition to get it. Ooh, 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 who, who did that? Uchi said he'll make a fourth one if you buy him a horse. Well, I'm going to invest all my money into making a Radical 6 for horses so no one can ever buy him a horse. Dear God. Dear God. Anyway, so we'll be back at some point in July. I don't know when. Um, I'll do a couple streams of, of like, I'll do at least a stream of, of like a nothing game that no one cares about, like vampire survivors, or I'll just talk, I'll just do a Q and a like, um, ahead of time. And, uh, and then I'll say like, Hey, we're going to, I'll do that one or two streams and I'll say, Hey, we're going to, we're going to go into zero time dilemma now, or we'll do hypnospace outlaw maybe. And then we'll, uh, we'll play zero time, di time dilemma and that's it. Oh man, this was so terrible. This is so terrible. Like, like almost the entire story depends on Dio being a complete fucking idiot and also Sigma never looking at his reflection. Your whole story just just go is hinged on this guy's just never going to look at his reflection and no one's ever going to say what's that on your eye or like you know you're old, right? Like Oh, they only hint at it. God. The first game's pretty good in my memory. Like, I, I wish they explained a little bit more of it, and some of it doesn't quite make that much sense, but, like, at least the first one had an emotional core of it being like, we're trying to save a little girl. You know what I mean? Like, we're trying to undo this crime that was done. And it's a very, like, small scale. And it works. And this is just, like, holy shit off the rails. And then just keeps falling. Oh, fucking hell.
Anyway, Virtue's Last Reward, really, really high highs, really, really low lows. Um, it's the Elden Ring of escape room visual novels. Um, 6 out of 10. See you in July. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the bits and subs. If anyone gave any bits and subs, thank you very much. Have a good rest of your time. See you in July. Dio definitely set those bombs on those other timeline. Or he's acting like he did. Either way, there's a huge, huge mistake there. See you later.